Um, so I'm Miller Ryan. I'm a lieutenant back in our detective bureau. Um, obviously, it's been told to you that I'm going to contact you. Someone was. I didn't know okay. who or what, but I think, goodness, because I, I couldn't imagine that it, I, could, I was waiting. You know, it's like, right, I right. somebody call. Okay. You know I mean? um, so I guess you come in here voluntarily um, right. because this is under investigation. Right. So obviously, I need to find out from you, right. from your perception, your side of things, right. what happened. Right. Exactly. Um, I've got to record it in here oh, just fine. because that's what we do for interviews. Right. So just so you know, it is recorded. Right. Um, but we do that for you know most people that we bring in here. Right. At any time you feel you want to get the heck out of here, you can get out, walk okay. out. My feelings won't be hurt, okay? okay. okay. Um, so I guess what I'm looking for is first, do you have a driver's license? Just to fully yeah. identify you. Oh, yeah. I recognize you by face, but. No worries. Do you need to take it out? Thank you. Do my faculty card? Nope, that's okay. And this is your current address still? And then, do you have a cell phone that you prefer to be counted yeah. as opposed to me? Um, you know, when I called the house, I didn't say where I was from. Oh, well, that's my wife's phone. So okay, all right. Totally I didn't know, so I yeah. just... I, if, I, if I phone, if, the, if no one's there, my cell is... All right, and then I had sent you an email, too, which you obviously can disregard. Oh, so. okay. I'm not good at emails. No, that's all right. Sometimes yeah. some people are, and sometimes yeah. some people aren't, yeah. so... Um, so the reason for the delay in me contacting you is because obviously you know the mandatory reporting protocols on campus. No? no. Okay. So basically what happens is that um, it sounds like there was a complaint made over right. at MSU Sports Medicine, right. which triggers some mandatory reporting protocols. Right. So what happens is the Office for Inclusion is a mandatory reporter here to the police department. Okay. So they contacted me, okay. um, at which time I had to wait for the person who was going to file the report to get back into town because they were out of town. Oh, okay. So I was able to meet with her today, okay. which is why the delay, so I apologize okay. for that. Okay. So obviously a little bit stressful for you Just because you're, you're yeah. wondering. Um, right. And so what I also do is I ask Office for Inclusion to kind of hold off, so to speak, because right. I like to put any type of police investigation in front of an administrative investigation. Right. But right. obviously you probably feel the others more important because it's well, affecting yeah. your well, employment. Everything. Well, it, it's affecting her. That's my, you know, right. it's like I want to make sure that this gets resolved so that there's better understanding. Okay, that to me, everything else is irrelevant. It's really, I feel like, horrid that she would feel that way. And that's why I'm like, I got to get some resolution. So right. that I know that I'm not allowed to talk to her and everything, but we, it's good to talk. It's good to talk. Um, so what is your, and again, I'm kind of coming in in the middle of this, what is your status then? And your, so your employment has nothing to do with my investigation. That'll be with the Office for Inclusion. That's, that's fine. So yeah. what is your, I called the office earlier. Again, I didn't say who I was, yeah. but um, they had said you were out of the office for five and a half weeks, so I assume. That was the, that was the dean to make sure that, it, you know, until this investigation was over. Okay. You know what I mean? That's appropriate. That's understandable. And okay. understandable. Right. So I'm doing my autism research right now. So I said, go do your research. I'm working on some development of classes. Okay. So you're just working from home. Right. In exactly. the meantime. Right. Okay. Right. Pending a resolution of the university's mm -hmm. investigation, I assume. Right. That's, that's, that to me is the appropriate thing. If someone says that, then I shouldn't be in contact with patients. You know what I mean? So this right. is a voluntary, totally voluntary. Okay. You know, it's like, yeah. You know, I, I sat down and talked with the dean over lunch hour on Friday, okay. you know, and we said, you know what, this would probably be the smartest thing. So because, you know, that's, if someone is saying that, then I, it's hard because I'm used to being on the other side. Right. The advocate, right. you know what right. I mean? And I'm like, no, then that is totally appropriate, you know. So okay. that's that's why we're doing this more as a voluntary, you know, thing so that we don't have, you know, why was he still seeing patients? Right, obviously yeah. from a liability standpoint for the yeah, university. Yeah, 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 so that's... that's well, it's great that's that okay. your understanding of that, obviously. Yeah, I would encourage it. All right, right. So my disclaimer is I talk fast. Um, okay. So obviously okay. you can probably already tell that. So if you need me to slow down and you got any questions, let me know. Okay. I've had a lot of coffee today, so my caffeine has kicked in. So basically what I'd like to start is sure. what you already know. So why don't we start with that, because it sounds like there's been some conversations that have already taken place. So I'd like to know what you know. What I what I was told was that, and that was that the, the patient was concerned that I was inappropriately touching her and didn't understand why. You know, okay. like like you know, he was 
you know, touching me in my private areas, you know, and she didn't understand why. And that's, those are two things that confuse me because I, I, I do this on a regular basis. This okay. is, this is a treatment that I, that I lecture on. I lecture on not only here at Michigan State to the fellows and residents and medical students, but to um, uh, national organizations, international. You know, I was the keynote guest speaker in Australia to, to the Australian Olympic Sports Medicine for this very technique. They gave me two hours to lecture on it. That's why I wanted to show you the, the videos, because there's no question I was touching her in private areas. That's okay. what I do. I mean, that's, yeah, but, you know, and I, I, I have stayed off the EMR. Do you, do you know what EMR is? No. Electronic medical records, you know, okay. so that's like her chart. Okay. So I have stayed out of her chart. Okay. You know, so I, I don't want to. Since she came in. Yeah, because okay. I don't want to be like, oh, he doctored or whatever. So it should stay in there even that, you know, I, I talked about this process. You know what I mean? And then for me, I'm, I'm a type of doctor that spends, believe it or not, 30 to 30 minutes is the quickest appointment that you're going to have with me. Okay. okay. It's 30 to 60 minutes, okay, because I do a lot of hands-on and I do a lot of mentoring. You know, I do a lot of talking, okay? So, you know, in her situation, that's why I'm beating myself up. I'm like, where did I go wrong? What did I, how did she, how did I not know that she was uncomfortable? That's the bizarre thing to okay. me. Okay. Okay. It doesn't, that's why I'm, I'm like, what signs was I missing? So that's what we're here for today, obviously, right? Yeah. two sides of every story. Right. What, does, um, what didn't I feel or perceive that she was feeling that I didn't get? Because if you touch someone wrong, they should tighten up. If you touch someone, you know, and, and this is what I lecture on, too. It's like if you do something that's inappropriate, their, you, 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 their body reflexively is going to respond. And I didn't sense anything like that. You know what I mean? And and that's why, okay, well, maybe I was just talking too much, you know, because I talk and... But, um, you know, and I, and so the, the, I'm known for this. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And her body, you know, he picks me, okay? Because that's my area. And I know how to, I can show you the, the stuff, but, but that's why I'm like, you know, because I, I tell people the, the touch is a personal thing, but there's a difference between palpation and caressing, you know, I mean, there's a total different, like, I tell a story, this is a true story about when I was dating in medical school, and I was, the reason I went to DO school was for the hands-on stuff. And it ended shortly thereafter because we'd be intimate together, and she said, you're palpating again, because I'm like, but I can fix this, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was like, you know, so I, I, I was more in tune, and that's how I've made my reputation is very in tune to the person's body, okay? And that's what makes me the doctor that I am, okay? And so that's why I'm like, how the heck did I miss any signals? That's number one. Number two is, is also like, why, I don't get it. Why didn't she say something if she was, if she was, if she was feeling violated in any way, shape, and form, there was no communication okay. to me. And that's, and that's why I'm like, did, how, what? Am I blind? Am I deaf? Am I, didn't, didn't I hear or see anything? And she didn't, she never, and she felt better. My understanding was when she was done that, yeah, because when I'm working on people, it's like, okay, how's it feel now? Number one, number two, what feels better? You know what I mean? And the pain was going away. She was getting better. And so if I'm, if I'm resolving a problem and in constant communication with the patient talking, I don't get why she just didn't come out and say something, okay? So that those were my frustrations that I'm going over because I obviously, if this right. happens once, it could happen again. It's, I've been doing this for 15 years or whatever, and, you know, so wake up, you know, have you gotten too comfortable? Are you too relaxed about it? And I'm like, you know, the only thing that I can think of is that, I was trying to
whatever, you know, okay. was like, boom, boom. and we were talking about that, you know what I mean? Because what I try and do is gain confidence in a person, and then I help them, you know, because I always tell people there's physical injury and there's mental injury, right. and so much of it is more mental, you know, and people, okay, I hear you. okay, so if I can get to some of the causes of the pains, it's, it's people, I get referred all the time, people have pain, 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 it comes to me, the pain goes away. One of the biggest differences, I talk to them. Right. You know what I mean? And so, I'm like, what was I too involved? Talking to her, did I get into her space? Not this. No, I hear you. You I see what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. And, and what, um, what I was told was that what made her call Dr. Colvin was, this is what Dr. Colvin said, was because I liked the picture on Instagram. And okay. I liked the picture of her. She happened to be in the picture. Okay. Okay, and because I liked that picture, that's what made her call Jeff. And so I'm Dr. Coban. And so I'm like, well, is it because she felt I was stalking her? I was trying to get into her space too much? You know what I mean? I said, you know, I, I right now I couldn't even tell you what she looks like. Okay. okay. I mean, like. But you know who we're referring to, obviously. I don't even know her first name. Okay. Know, you know okay. I mean? Because family. Yeah. I don't you know, but honestly, right now I. And that's why I'm staying on the EMR. I, I can't even recall her first name, okay? But it's but it's like, what the heck, you know? So I'm, I'm trying to think to myself, you really screwed up because you got into her, She, you broke into a space that she didn't want you to break into. You know, from, from my thought is from a mental standpoint that then clicked off, well, maybe this wasn't a therapeutic or, or medical touch. You know right, I mean? With that definitely could be part of the reason why she thinks right. and why right. she's reporting what she is, um, right. which that is a portion of it. Right. So um, what specifically did Dr. Covan tell you that she, so is he the only one that spoke to you about this? Dr. Well, Dr. Covan told me that Dr. Gietzel, he's our clinical director. Okay. Right, right, right. So, and then of course the dean. And did he tell both of them or how did they find out? The so dean found out through the university. And okay. so when the dean called down Jeff on Friday, or Thursday, Friday, Friday, one of those days. And so then Jeff came into the office of the dean at 7.30 in the morning. So I think it was Friday. This past Friday? Right. right okay. Right, right, right. And then the dean called me down Friday afternoon. Okay. Okay. So Dr. Coleman was the one that first initially right, met with you. Right, right, right. So right, what right. did he say? And, um, there, obviously there was the issue of the Instagram picture. What else right. did he tell you? That she felt violated, you know, that, that I was doing, like I touched her breast and then I moved her underwear out of the way, you know, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I do that all the time, you know, and, and he said that he tried to explain to her too that, because I've taught Jeff, Dr. Coleman, how to do this. Okay. Stuff, you know, so he was like, but he said, because she said, I did, Jeff said also, she didn't want to make a big deal out of it, but Jeff said, because you're talking to me, I will move this forward because that's what I have to do. Because we, that's right, you know what I mean? Right. So, so she didn't, according to Jeff, said she didn't want to make a big deal of it. She just wanted to let me know and, you know, to try and take care of it. You know what I mean? So um, so Jeff moved it forward. You know, just, I assume, or did he tell you that when he contacted? Whoever. You know, he just moved. Okay, so he just told you he moved, moved it forward. forward. Right, okay. right, right, right. So that's how... That's how it got moved forward, you know what I mean? But like at that time, he was like, I explained to her that Larry does this all the time, and there's, you know, that he knows what techniques, you know what I mean, that I do, and that is true. I mean, there's, yeah, you know what I mean? I, that's, why, that's why I brought the computer. I think if you see the videos that I educate people on, yeah, you know what I mean, that's okay. what I do, you know what I mean? And I can, if someone has a rib problem, you know what I mean, I can fix their rib, but if I can't, a lot of times you can't use the shoulder, their smile fascial techniques, you know, I can fix their rib by having my hand on their bottom area, and I can fix their rib by, you know, from above, okay, you, there's just mild fascial techniques, but it's medical, that's the problem, like, how did she not, uh, so those would be some of the things we work through, right, so, um, what may be helpful, um, is if we maybe we start off with the videos, yeah, yeah, um, sure. that way you can show me, and then that way, and then what I'll probably have you do, if you don't mind, if they're not too long, and you can email them to me. Oh, I got Dropbox. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a Dropbox perfect. for the team, you know what I mean? I can't get on. To yeah, Dropbox, you know. But I, I can send you, the, you send me an email? Y yep, I so sent you an I can, email. I can, I can send you the link to the Dropbox? Yep, that'd be okay. perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, they normally have our wireless pretty well locked down here. Oh, so. yeah, 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 no, I, don't, I can send it to you when I get home. The, um, 
to be under sports medicine. I have it in so many different areas because no, this is like this is in Australia. Okay, so this is um, this is what I was down in Australia doing the lecture, and it looks like I put a few in here. So um, this is what probably it looks like would be on the uh, drop box, the majority of it. So l look, let's go back in time. Okay, <laughs> so this was like my first video that I ever made of this. It was made on a VHS tape. Oh okay? Lord, yeah, you can, we're going way back. Yeah, okay. Okay, so her parents are in the room, you know, and I wanted to, to give this lecture. So she volunteered. It's the first time I ever met her. Okay, um, and it was, and she had a, see her chest movement, you know. So that's her range of motion right now. Okay, so this is what what I do. So she had physical therapy, six months of physical therapy. Okay, she had been resting, you know, and they were like, okay, let's go see this doctor in, in Lansing. They came. Okay. So I'm doing, doing the palpation of this part, but let me just go forward here. But you can see where my hand is going here now, but that's that's nothing compared to what I'll show you. That's, that's her strength there. And the, okay, but right, let me do this here. So I tested in different areas. So now she has pain there from, from this, but... So, okay, so now now I'm doing one of her, like her leg treatment, okay? Go, go, go. Anyways, and then, then I work her up. I gotta keep going. Just this, this is just the first, the video of it. No, okay. So now look at the range of motion just from that. Okay. Remember, the range of motion was here. Yeah. Okay. And then I worked the fascia up the rest of her back. Okay. So she came in with a hamstring problem. Okay. But so where am I working? You see what I'm saying? It's, it, I always tell people, it's like from your ponytail to your big toe. Okay. Now, for six months, and now look at this range of motion. One treatment. Okay. And that's where she couldn't get for six months. Okay. You start doing this, and this without even stretching her. Okay. The voice is off. You know, no, that's okay. Out, you know, but, so you can see that it basically doubled her range of motion without even starting. Now I'm starting to do a little bit of stretch, and that's where that's the end point. You can tell what her body language is, you know. So that was like, okay, back then. I was thinking I was treating like the operator internist. I was trying to figure it out. Okay, the way that I first started working in this area was a gymnast had a hamstring problem and said they weren't getting better, same type of situation, and she was guiding me. And she was like taking my hand, and I mean, I'm right in her vaginal area, and she said, that's it. And all of a sudden, with my hand there, her range of motion doubled. You know, I'm like, what the frick did I just do? And so I did all this research, and that's how I became known for this, because I did all this research to try and figure it out. And I met with Dr. Greenman, who was a, he's passed away now, but he, he wrote the book on osteopathic manual medicine, first okay. person manual medicine. And he's like, I think you're doing more sacral tubers and pelvic floor as opposed to operator interns, you know? So anyways, so that's, that's why this is like, okay, that was the beginning. You can see how long ago that is. Yeah. So, you know, and, and this is, what I made for the lecture. And I do these videos all the time and send them to, like, everyone leaves instead of paper. They leave the video on their phone. Okay. Okay, like if I want to go see a therapist or a doctor in a different area. So these people came up from, here we go. So this is in my lecture that I, that I give now. You can see this is in our new office and everything. Motion, and this is for the myofascial release. Shit. Better quality, obviously, because. She does not have very good external rotation. Now her parents are in the room, you know, for this too, of course. I think her mom actually is holding the camera. Right where the tissue I'm trying to show it on. You can't really see it on the skeleton here because, like I said, they were they were holding the camera, not. But then here. Okay. Okay, so now, here, 
Pierre is like where the leotard line would be if she's wearing the leotard. She's got a little tape. She's been taping her sacrotuberous ligament with kinesiotic tape. So the things I invented okay. with that tape job, too. Okay. Now here's your sutuberosity. You're sore right here, correct? Okay. So I'm going to come more towards the rectum. Any pain? No. Okay. So it doesn't hurt there when I push. I'm pushing at about a 45 degree angle. That's where I'm going to put my pressure. And maybe up towards the tail wall a little bit more as I come up. But this is my hand placement. Sometimes my hand has to be actually down here where I come across. And so I'm on the pubic, pubic synthesis. synthesis. Okay. okay. And my hand supporting the pubic synthesis in the front. In the front. Yeah. So okay. I mean, yeah, I'm touching her areas. You know what I mean? That's reality. You know what I mean? That's. Sometimes I actually have to grab right here to apply that treatment process. Okay? So now I'm going to have you guys come back over here just so they can see really. Okay, so that's that is now what what that's showing like hand placement. But what you can do with that here's like IT band, pelvic floor. Let me go up to the here's like ribs. I think. Okay, ready? All right, ready. So, so now we're going to work just on the outside because she has that butt head connection where she had the uh, when she pressed her neck. So I'm going to check her here now. Okay. So my other hand you can't see, but it's in the inner rectal vaginal area. So working half of the spine. Oh, wait, okay, this would be testing her. Okay, so listen to what she's saying. Now, again, now we right slightly out. Okay. Push on the tush. Now we right slightly out. Go back further. Okay, now, again, now we right slightly out. Go back further. Okay. This. Yep. Okay. So her pain, see, 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 this is what I want to hear you say. Pain, yes, pain, yes. Could you, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Just That's what I'm doing up. So where's your pain? Is your pain? Is your pain? Is your pain? She had pain the whole way up, okay? And now I put my hand to the issue right the box up for the sacral tuberous ligament. No. So the pain goes away. Okay. You see what I'm saying? All the way up. Just by putting pressure on the sacral tuberous ligament now, her paraspinal muscles have relaxed. What I'm treating and that's what I've been doing with her. It's like, does it hurt now? Does it hurt now? Okay. And it changed from those different hand positions. Pain doesn't hurt? Okay. You know, so I'll take a deep breath, you know, and then I hold it and work it out. You know, so that's what I'm getting at. It's like, I get her in a position that doesn't hurt. You know, the pain's going away. And I'm talking the whole time. That's when I'm like, if I put her in a position that, that made the pain go away, and, and my hand is down there. There's no question about it. Right. Obviously, I can see that. You know, why? But it's a it's a conversation too. You know what I mean. Number one, number two. You know which feels better. Um, and then I do this because because I treat them seated, standing. So like here is even. This is doing the slump test. Legit sitting on my hand, okay. Coming up, you know, so you know, bone to sit bone. Yeah. So my fingers are on the inside of that, between the two sit bones, pulling this way, okay. Change my position. And the pain's gone because I have to change the. Okay, so that was painful. Putting my hand there, changing it because of different vectors, forces this. So it takes the pain away. You know, then okay, that tells me okay, I need to do this. You know what I mean? So 
and then I, I actually send them home with exercises. That's what I was going to ask. So then what she, is... Um, she sits on her hand, and she does some exercises. So let's... um. So And then standing... Do I have the one in here? No, I bet you that's just in the, the actual... This is like Botsford. I mean, I've done this lecture so many times. Um, let's just do Botsford. Is that... Yeah, let's do... Let's see if Botsford shows the... Stand, uh, which one we'll call it one? Hello. And then, so then, do you tailor the exercises they need to right, do depending right. on traditionally I have, where? I have one patient that has to come in, and um, uh, she comes up, and it's her both sides. So she has to take both hands and push up, and it's the only she's had pain for a year. Okay, and since I've been showing her how to do it, she goes home, does it, and she's treating herself, and she's back to doing okay. gymnastics now. But it's because of all these nerves that pass through here too. It just it's anyway. So this is um. Um, oh no, this is an older, the videos aren't connected. Go away. Sometimes when you convert them, I don't want that with this one. I've been, you know, updating them, you know, and now it's like a PDF. This just shows the patterning of how through the through this ligament, you go up and you affect the ribs, the dismus dorsi. This is all from what I what, where I found the, the research was in with Fleming. He did a lot of research on pregnant ladies, okay. And so I used to joke that you know I took what they do on pregnant ladies and converted to my athletes because I work with gymnasts, dancers, and figure skaters. That's like eighty percent, ninety percent of all my patients. They're all hyperflexible. Right. What happens when you're pregnant? relaxing comes out in your pelvis and you get all these problems because of the pelvis relaxing to make room. So it's like, okay, you know, that was, so the, the research that was done on pregnant ladies, you know, with, okay, following this all stuff, that's what that means, um, it's, it's in this textbook called Movement Stability and Low Back Pain, okay? And so we're trying to create stability. So it, it just, it'll no more if it'll make sense to you as I go through it. But anyways, these are from his textbook showing you how through that this is not just me being crazy man, you know what I mean? This is right, right. textbooks, you know. Nothing you pulled out of the air. Right, right exactly, you know, or in this case out of my ass, okay, if you want to put it. But do you see how that goes? You know what I mean? It's like, it's through. And so when you're in, and this is showing how the sacrum rocks, so I'm trying to lecture. Okay, gate, how the gate is affected. There we go. So you can see how those videos are in the lecture yep. presentation. And the slump test, where's this? Oh, like this, this. This is at Bella Crowley's. This is when we finally got a table in the back room. Okay. And so she came in after three, four months of not being able to do her pose. Okay. Her, her coach was a chiropractor. Anyway, so I did this treatment on her and that's her range of motion. Three days working on her at the gymnastics camp at our national team training center, doing those techniques that you saw and that's her range of motion. After three, four months of not being able to raise her leg up, okay? So I mean, that's why it's very powerful. You know what I mean? It makes huge differences, right. okay? This is like showing you some, so like a, a self-treatment. Okay. okay. I teach them to pick a wedgie. Yeah. And like, pick your wedgie, get in there, pick your wedgie, you know, and you need to pull and stretch, and you know, I'm showing you. You know, then like, okay, you know, and then so I'm just showing you that they do that, you know? They, I teach them to do that themselves. Okay. And you said you've taught the staff over there at Sports Medicine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gave this lecture at our, at our MSU conference, our MSU Sports Medicine conference. You know what I mean, too? But so here's standing. So this, obviously, she has scoliosis, which gives you a lot of rib pain. Okay. So she's not a gymnast. You know what I mean? So anyway, so she comes in from. She's like graduated. She's, she'll come in and, and just for this treatment for when her back is sore. Okay, but so I can treat scoliosis because of the ribs, standing, so I treat this standing, seated, you know, um, and this is showing, you know, like, okay, standing, you can do it this way, you know, so, and then taping it, okay, there's different tape jobs, and you literally come into the, to the uh, ischial rectal fossa with the tape job. This is one of our... Sacral tuberous ligament runs from the coccyx down to the ischial you would actually start, because I would start this up, and when you do this, you want to make sure that you stay off of the rectal um, 
area and of course they lateral to the labia. If you get too close to the rectal area, of course they get more skin irritation. Okay, so I mean you're coming right where right. they're okay. Yeah. I mean I'm not saying I didn't touch her there. I purpose I purposefully touched her there. Okay? That's the you know, so so I this is all like sacred tubers, sacred tubers, and over time and then, yeah, I'll just go on this go. You can see how you, you can put different okay. layers there, you know. At the same time, but that's, skin smooth. What you do not want to do is create a fold of skin. You, know, so you can see how I talk with my hands. I always... Hands the same way. Okay, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, even on the patient's body, you know, so as I'm talking with her, trying to describe things, I don't know. I, I, you know, I, I see so many people, I don't know. But I just, what I do know is that I've been doing this for so many decades, you don't have decades, but since like 1997. Okay. You know, like, why now? What what happened? You know, and then um, so that's where I switch over, and as I as I move over years, you don't just you you create, you still keep doing things. You know what I mean? And so I um, where is that? Well, you can get a kick out of this. Um, I'm gonna kick, but this is this is my leotard. Okay. This is uh, let's see, it is July 25th. This is my. 2013. So I'm trying to put it into a leotard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So these were like. This was the very first. But you can see how. And then I've got pictures of all this too. I've been developing it because now Under Armour is our sponsor. Okay. And our mixed core shorts, and so this is like a core. So we have Under Armour and. Um, to try and lift. So this was our first first demo of it, but you can see how it comes up, you know, to lift and shift, and it basically it's like I mean I'm literally trying to design how do I put my hands on the leotard. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so that they can wear it and have the same type of biomechanical support, you know? So we have Jim Kin. I've met with people with Jim Kin. And since Under Armour is our new sponsor, I thought this would be a great project for the two to work together. Okay, so um, um, I think on the Dropbox, there's actually more pictures of that. Okay. But I need to get to the other. So what I've gone from is from, from operator internist to sacral tuberous to going into more... Pelvic floor work is what I'm trying to, to find that lecture. It's in the um, gymnastics injuries. That I might, I, this is this is the latest, I guess you could say. Um, core lectures? Did I put it in the core lectures? Trying to do core, core, back, core. Okay, let me, let me grab it. No, that's all right. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not taking too much of here. Nope, that's what I'm here for. Okay. That's what we're here for is uh, figure out exactly what happens so you can take all the time we need. I, so I, I sort of see, I mean, I, I, this is literally like, um, gosh, I wonder if those, those, those are on there too. Like the um, Romanian National Theater of Romania for Gymnastics, okay? Their um, trainer, I just made up videos for them. Where are those? Let's go here. I thought I, I know they're on the Dropbox. To, but videos, let's go to this external hard drive. I should have just put them all into. Uh, the oh, you didn't know I was calling you this evening, yeah. so it's not like you had time to prepare, yeah, really. Anything, right, right. So, but you knew at some point I was calling, right, but. Right, videos for lectures. Happy Valley USAG PowerPoints, is it? Sacred tubers, but where's the floor? I bet you it's just underneath my lectures. So I make I make lectures. I mean, that's what I do. You know, I have all these videos that I do. They all go to the people so that they know what they're doing when they go home. You know, let's go here. Two lectures transfer. Lectures, 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 lectures. 
So this was the most recent lecture. And it would be on PE pelvis, pelvic floor. All right. So this I gave at USA Gymnastics National Congress, okay? And I gave it also at the, the last last year's um, MSU Annual Sports Medicine okay. Conference, okay? So that's why it's like, okay, the Grand Junction was the sacred tumor segment, okay? And then, I, then I, like we do, I do a lot of pelvic floor work because of, gymnasts have a lot of urinary incontinence, the force okay. pounding, and their urethra is small, and they pee. I don't know if you've ever jumped and peed, you know, but... Hands but, but, I run. Right. <laughs> and, and so gymnasts are, like, known for that, you know? So, you know, I talk about urinary incontinence and all that stuff, and... Um, but this is where you, I get into more, like, the culture of it, okay? Um, yeah, there you go. You know, the PP problems is a don't ask, don't tell issue. Because literally we have to do like PP interventions at times because a little one has a PP problem and we got to talk to them about it. But, um, da, 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 da. okay, so this is like, you know what I mean? Because she, she actually hurt her hamstring up high. You okay. know what I mean? But she's like her hoo ha, you know what I mean? So she who must not be named. It's like I try and been educating people about. The, about these techniques, you know what I mean? It's like everyone can't even say the word vagina, you know what I mean? It's like, hello, you know, you're medical professionals, you know what I mean? Like I've sent people for intravaginal pelvic floor work to um, Sparrow Hospital. Sometimes you actually have to go intravaginal, you know, too, for this stuff. And so, um, anyway, so I'm, I'm going through the anatomy of this stuff and trying to explain how the muscles, like I've had, uh, I've had kids actually strain the, these individual muscles that I found from physical exam, and people are like, you're full of crap. I do an MRI, they sprain that muscle. I know this area, you know, it's, it's whatever. Um, this MRI. So what we try and do is we actually teach them to use their pelvic floor muscles. Because if they use their pelvic floor muscles right, it actually increases their core stability. So it's when I'm in the pelvic floor area for this after intervention for sacral tumor segment, you can't help but be affected the pelvic floor. And the pelvic floor is known to actually, if you have this more stable use of your pelvic floor, it actually increases your core stability. So I tell people that the core to the core is the floor. Start your start with the core by using your floor. Okay, so I'm trying to educate people on how to use the floor, and because that's what I figure I'm doing a lot of times is even though I'm there, I'm affecting the floor, and if I can get the floor to contract well, then I can get their, which we call it, so the, their their back muscles to, to work properly. Okay, so I talk about Kegel muscles, you know, so this is part of their exercise programs. You know what I mean? So that's okay. why it's a little bit different. For, for my athletes that okay. I've done this time, they would have had these home exercise programs, okay? Okay, literally. Okay, I see athletes, okay? okay. The only way I don't see it, the only way I see a non-athlete is as someone said, will you do this? Okay. You know what I mean? So it's like, yes, you know, you know, then talk about joking anyway, so. Um, these are like trigger points, you know, areas that are mapped out, you know, on the body and stuff. But um, there's the, yeah, I call it the, the butt broth, the lift and shift, you know, kinesial tape. But um, um, there's another one. Oh, man, pediatrics, public form. It's then you just know. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's why I'm like, you know, it, it's, there's, um, I'm missing, I'm, I'm missing the ones for the, the Romanian gym, the Romanian doctor too, that I know they're on here someplace, but, um, I don't think that's, has it at the end. This is another lecture for, this is the American Osteopathic Academy of Sports Medicine. It's the national um, sports medicine, like all the doctors of sports medicine doctors in the country. There's two more gymnasts that I had done it on too, and look at the range of motion afterwards. But anyway, so understanding the biomechanics of a single ligament makes a big difference. There's more that you'll see in the Dropbox. Okay. You'll see, 
I mean, I'm pretty graphic in the videos. Okay, and Which the is actually going to be helpful to the investigation. And the, yeah. the other videos actually talk about, and that's, I, I know they're on there. This is starting to irritate me just a little bit because I'm like, where the heck did I put them? Um, it'll be, here's the, I'm no, I'm no, I did it load up. Yes, I was loading up to send some more stuff today. But it'll be, I think underneath this, it'll be like a sacred tubers. Okay, just to, just to let you know, hey, can I actually do this? No, that's not, that's not all of them. Hmm. What happened? I thought I added, I better add those ones with the Romanian gymnasts. Okay, Larry, bear with me. I'm no, you're fine. But that's why I'm like, you know, I, I'm like, I, I do this, this is what I do. Why didn't I get the idea that she was feeling you know, because I, I have to feel, I mean, like, I do this on, on minors, you know what I mean, with their, with their parent in the room, of course, but you have to be able to communicate, you have to be able to, to sense what the heck is going on, and why I didn't get that feeling from her is beyond me, and why, why did, and that's a, a question, I guess, that, that I can't answer because I'm not talking with her, but I did not she did not vocalize anything to me that she was feeling offended. If anything, like I said, she was feeling like she, like I was, yes, you know, I feel better. Okay, so that's why I'm like, if she's feeling better, why, what, what ticked her off to start thinking like, what the heck is this guy doing? You know, and that's, um, oh, this is just going to be irritating now. Yeah, you can't find them now. That's okay. okay. You know, okay. it's. Um, go, go ahead. I can look while, while you're while you're talking more. You know. For, so for when Dr. Coven initially um, talked to you about this, so it uh -huh. seems like there was a, um, you know, some time that went by from when he initially talked to you to when you were talked to you again. Mm -hmm. When he initially talked to you and you guys had your conversation, what was the resolution or outcome of that conversation? So he tells you, hey, you know, she comes in here. Right. Um, I wasn't. She, I wasn't that worried about it. I mean, okay. at that point, because he had said he explained it to her, and she was she didn't want to make a big deal of it. Was his words? Okay. You know what I mean? And but he said he had to move up the chain. You know what and I mean? then he so explained the procedure to her when you say he explained, he, he it, to explained her. it to her. I can't okay. talk for him. No, nope, I'm just curious if he that's told what you. He said is that I tried to explain to her what you do. You know okay. I mean? And so he that's those were his words. You know what I mean? Or paraphrasing because I can't remember. What no, the that's word, okay. But, you know, and that and she didn't want to make a big deal of it. And so those were the three things. Was was that I remember from our conversation was, or four things was, it was after the Instagram picture and the um, uh, moving of the underwear and moving of her breast and, because I was treating her ribs area, and then that she didn't want to make a big deal of it, but she thought she needed to talk to Jeff about it. And then Jeff saying that, you know, Appreciate what you're telling me, so I will move this up the chain. Okay. Okay. So that that was like the. So then it was just kind of left open ended for him to follow was back no, up with you. Nothing else that happened. There was no conversation until Friday. Okay. Okay. It was just so I went. I figured, okay, nothing ever happened. You know, what I mean, like, you know, then once the once the dean once it did actually then make it up the chain and the dean called in Jeff Friday morning. That's what's like. Okay, so obviously she's making more of a deal of it. You know, what I mean, then not mine to make a big deal of it. And I said, and I told Jeff at that time, I said, if she felt that way, I would encourage her to, to say things. You know, if she was, if she were to talk to me, you know, to say that some doctor did something, I said, you need to, to discuss this. You know what I mean? Because that's what, I am more of the patient advocate than anything else. I, I it's my role. That's what, that's, me. I don't know how else to say it. It's like me. You know, right. I don't, I don't, everyone has their own style. Yeah. Well, yeah. Not, it's, no, it's not just style. It's you. You know what I mean? As a person, to be able to do this stuff, and to be able to do this stuff for so long, if you don't have patient confidence and patient trust, you would have been had my ass in here how many times? Right, right. Okay? Okay, especially when I'm doing this on 10-year-olds, 12-year-olds, okay, with their parents there. But I'm obviously doing a doggone good job explaining things, okay, because what? You know yes, I mean? so that was going to be one of my questions, obviously. So there's never been any complaints that you're aware of prior to this one? And obviously you're videotaping things here. You're doing Right. <laughs> well, this has been going on for forever. You know what I mean? Like, not forever, but the videos you can see. I've been videoing and changing and adapting. So I can't, yeah. so that it's it's transforming, you know, from being just the operator intern to say the to pop the floor. You know what I mean? So all of that is, is the foam, 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 foam
the end point? I guess I can't find it. I don't no, know. that's okay. Don't worry about it. But you want to see the ones with the, and, and listen to the words that I'm saying too, okay? And just watch my body movements, okay? When I'm checking things, you know, when I'm, when my hands are on the patient, please watch because I could see how she, like, she's massaging my breasts. No, I'm like, how's that there now? How's that there? You'll see my hands move, okay? okay. It's talking with my hands. It's what, how's that feel there now? It's like, I tell people, you don't want to use left, right, or to your left, or you, you move it so they know what you're, what you're talking about. They can sense movement, right? So if I, if I try to describe, how does my left hand feel next to your right, you know, no. Right. But if I go like this, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's the way that I communicate because your hands are on them. Okay. So that is exactly what we're talking about. So that is, so was there more um, detail given to you on Friday then? Did they go over because you said, hey, uh, when they came on back? On Friday, what, he, what the dean said was um, uh, that it's been moved up the chain and that this could become a police issue or it's, you know, that she, it's, that it could become a police issue if she chooses to file a police report or whatever, you know, and that because of because of that, it'd be in your best interest, in our best interest, if we don't have you see patients right now, because which you, makes sense, like you said. Well, yeah, and I'm like, sure. He goes, you know, so you you you're, you know, take the time that we need. You know, I said I you can do the research, do the um, the academic you know work that I'm doing. You know, so I said that's exactly. You know what I mean? So I've, I've, I'm not even going to the high school. You know, I go to the high, I'm hope high school's team doctor and the okay. team doctor at Twist Arch, you know what I mean? So it's like, okay, you know? So I guess that's, that's where I'm getting at is what communication did I miss that she was trying to tell me, okay? Did she say anything about verbalizing that I feel uncomfortable or anything like that? Because if she did, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear so it. So those are some of the things um, that I'll go over with you. I can okay, go over in very well, fine I'm detail into right. what she said. So I'm not going to hide anything from you. Right. There's not right. going to be any secrets. I'll right. go over all that stuff with you. Okay. I just wanted to know kind of what you knew up front. And then obviously I wanted to see the videos because that, right. what I'm seeing in these videos is basically very similar to what she is it telling me happened. That's what I do. Yep. So that is why I wanted to see those first to say, okay, are we on the same page? Are we talking right. about the same thing right. from the get-go? Right. Which right. we are talking about the same right. thing. Okay. I've seen those. So it'll be very important um, for me to get those videos, yeah, and especially I, the ones if you have ones in more detail, yeah, the yeah. ones that are a little the more ones graphic. To the um, to the uh, which we call it, to Romania. Okay. You know, so that, those were just done um, for 2013 European, so last summer. Okay. So getting ready for the 2013 European Championships and. was having a problem and so the, they contacted me to say hey you know what can you do to help I mean England Canada um, uh, Germany I mean they right this is what I do okay I'm not saying that I, I yes I'm there and yes it's medical it's not it was I totally I don't know how else to say it, but I'm totally taken by surprise, but at the same time, feel like crap that someone would feel that I was doing something inappropriate to them. Because this is how I make my living. This is what I do. This, I've helped scores of people by doing these personal issues. Which okay. is good to hear. It's, you know, it's good to hear that you feel bad that she feels well, that way. Yeah, um, because I feel like this little deviant, you know what I mean? And that's not right. And that's not... Okay. I mean, that's reality. Okay. That's who I am. Okay. That's, that's why I'm like, of all the freaking people, I'm the only guy even allowed in with the national team. Okay. It's all our females. Okay. But because of who the essence, who I am, it's the trust. If I did something wrong, do you know how quickly that would spread like wildfire across? I'd be mean, out. Right, right. This is my 27th year with the team, you know what I mean, or whatever, since 1986. I've been with yeah, the I... team, and, and I'm telling you, those kids, it would go boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, chuck. You know what I mean? Like, no question about it, okay? And it's and that's why I'm saying is that they there has to be a way that a person, that's what, uh, that a person's able to disconnect, okay? If you don't disconnect, then you're, you're screwed, you know what I mean? You've got to be able to disconnect. Because and that's what I'm saying is that th it, when you're in that area, you have to be helping, you have to be doing therapeutic touch, not any other touch. 
because that sensations can be relayed through your hands. Persons can tell. You know what I mean? And it's like, how did I miss that stimulus that she felt that I was doing it inappropriately? Was I really that off that day or what? You know, that's my issue. Is I, I And it's hard because it was so long ago, you know what I mean? But it's what I do all the time. So where did I, was I tired that night? I'm like, did I get to sleep that night? Did I, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to figure out, was I off? Was I sick? I wasn't sick, you know what I mean? I, I only get five hours of sleep usually a night anyways, you know, but that's normal. Like, did I get less than that that night? You know, what What made me out of sync? What made me not be able to recognize that the, I was making a patient uncomfortable, okay? So you gotta, generally, do they tell, do they verbalize that or a combination thereof? There has been a few times where that has been brought up, okay? And in each and every time there was sexual abuse. Okay. So... That's what that's what I'm saying is when they're uncomfortable like that, it's it's been three. There's been three cases, and all three of them were sexually abused. Okay, so that's why I'm like, yeah. Okay, that's why I'm like, okay, is there something more? What am I missing? Because that's what I'm thinking all the time. Okay, if someone is if someone's tensing up or having an issue with this, my first inclination is, were they ever sexually abused? Okay, so. That's what I've had conversations with people about. You know what I mean? And now I'm the one on the other. That's what I'm saying. If I'm the one on the other side of the table now, you know. Right. Like, so I'm like, how did I? If, if say say if for God, God help me, she's never been you know sexually abused. But say if she was, how did? That's my job. Why why would I miss that? Because then it's my job to bring help to that. You see what I'm saying? So where am I losing it? That if she God forbid had been, that I would have missed that cue. Because then it's like, okay, boom, chuck up, boom, whole another period of, of like it's time to have some psych psychiatric in intervention. Right. Y you know what I mean? So um, that's why I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, three times, okay? And and so that's, yeah, though there's been other net, and each one of them were in the past actually abused, you know? And so, but, but I'm the one who brings it up. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> you know, she's way uncomfortable for what I'm doing, you know, without them even having to verbalize, okay? Because... Obviously, you can okay. feel a change in their well, body. Yeah, okay. It's like, that's not right. That's way, there's something wrong here. You know what I mean? And so then I talk to, it's, it's time to with the minor. You know, then I talk to the parent. And I'm saying, you know, what's going on here? You know, and then I find out what's going on. Okay. So you obviously talk to, um, it sounds like, So I'm just, I just was waiting since Friday when I heard that it did go forward to, to have this conversation because I want her, I don't want, I don't want her to mentally be going through what someone would be going through when they think that they've been sexually violated, okay? That's the problem that I'm facing is that it's a dichotomy for me. It's like, it, it, I'm the person that usually puts the arm around them, not the one who's, who's, you know, doing the wrong thing. That's the weird, that's the dichotomy that I'm stuck in. And you're right. Yeah, and I don't, and I don't, and I, and I, and I. So that's what um, she filed a report for. So right now what the report is titled, just so you know, is a sexual assault. assault right, because right. that is, like you said, that is how she's feeling. That is what she think happened. That's her perception of things. Um, so there's a couple different times that she's feeling that you sexually assaulted her throughout the examination. Okay. Um, she did say everything that you were telling me is along what she said. Hey, it was a lengthy examination. Right. Went to these exercises. Right. Um, you were working on basically her whole entire body. Right. So you know everything you're walking me through over here and you're showing me is everything that she was telling me. Um, what she is saying, and you use the words, the same words she used, that she's saying that. Right. Um, and then she said that she felt like that you were massaging her breast, and that that was not part of. Um, the manipulation that you were doing. Okay, okay. So that'd be the first case. Right, okay. So you want to talk about 
that first piece as uh, what it is you were doing. Right. When you're working ribs, okay, the, if you can't use the arm, if your shoulder, you know, it's like, okay, the muscle energy part, we'd like a crack a back, okay, so we, we crack a back, crack a neck, you know, the usual stuff, and then we try and do push against me, push against me, and then you do stretches, okay, so when I'm, when I'm doing stretches, yeah, okay, you're on the... And again, if you have videos of that too, um, that would be helpful. Let me show you here. Not that you necessarily have videos of everything, but... I teach the ribs. Um, I gotta find where I'm at. Sorry. Um, videos transfer. I go back to transfer. Not a lot of people like to treat the ribs. And because I work with the crew athletes, I treat a lot of ribs because the crew athletes, you know, have rib issues, obviously. But that's, that's what I, I mean, so that's another area that I do a ton of, of lecturing on because I treat it a lot. Well, I'm in the wrong. I gotta go to, I took stuff off the, my computer was getting too big, so that's why I got the external hard drive going. Let's go to the external hard drive. No, 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 go up to lectures. Lectures and articles. Oh, man. Lots of art, lots of lectures. All right. Um, OMM ATC, for example. Ribs. Ribs ATC rough copy. Let's see if that's. Okay, so like this is Dr. Greenman, like I was talking about. Okay, so you can see his hand placements. Okay, so what I tell people is. When you're working, when you're when you're working on the ribs, okay. I don't like to stand on the side. I do it sideline, okay. When I do it, when I so I, I'll stay, I'll be at their head or I do it sideline, okay. Okay. And I tell people, don't come in this way. That's offensive. Come in this way, okay. If you come in over their head, that's offensive. You know what I mean? It's just the way that I talk about it. So I actually come off from the side. Okay. okay? And then I'll, I'll turn their head and do some work that way with it. But that to me is a lot. When you come at someone this right. way, that's more offensive. Seems so that's, right, nature, right, exactly. And that's why I'm like, I lecture to people about how you, you, you try and you, you try and not, you come across from the sides and then when you sideline them, um, you can do it sideline sitting, piece like showing a prone. But you can, you can, it's the rib cage. You know what I mean? You're going to be on the chest wall. You're, you're, you move the breast down. You move the breast down to get down to the wall. Okay? It's like giving someone a mammogram almost. Okay? And when you do the myofascial, let me see if I've got the. Oh, don't say. So while you're doing this, sure, are you sure. explaining, I mean... I, I, you, I always do, okay. <laughs> you know, because I, I have to know if it's making them feel better. That's why I'm like, is that bad? Because there's, okay, if that doesn't work, I'm going to change my hand position. If that doesn't work, it has to be a, a conversation. I'm not omnipotent, you know what I mean? It's like, and, and that's why I'm like, this is, I don't understand why she just didn't say, I don't understand what you're doing. Um, you know, or, or, or anything along those those lines. It's like, really? So um, she did say, you know, um, while you were working on her, that you did say, you know, does this feel better? Yes. And say you were going on with that. Um, what her perception is, is that you weren't explaining what you were going to do beforehand, so she didn't know what was coming. coming. Uh -huh. um, but that she was very well aware that during, while you were doing that, you were saying, you know, how does this feel? Does this feel better? And then she was answering, you know, right. either yes or no. Oh, right. Um, so, again. So, okay. So, because I, I, I can't remember, but I do this on all my patients. If you do the same thing every time, right. yeah. you know what I mean, then then I'm like, okay, if I was treating with. Please, correct, we have to do the same thing. Do well, the same way yeah, like every yeah, time. And then you don't know. screw up, you know what I mean? So, that's why I'm like, so where, did she, I don't, I don't know if you can tell me that, but did she ever say anything to me? Yes, I can tell you everything. Yeah, I have no yeah. problem telling you. Did anything. she say something like, I feel offended, or what are you doing, or can you explain it to me better, and I blew her off? So what she's saying is that um, while you were, um, what she said in her words is massaging her breast, um, mm -hmm. 
what she said is that at some point she tells you, okay, you don't need to work on my shoulder anymore. Okay. I don't need to work on my shoulder. Okay. It has like longer term issues okay. and I need more work than that. Do okay. you remember that at all? I, it, it, I don't remember, honestly. Okay. But, but so that I stopped working on her shoulder or what did I do? Yes. Okay. So she said stop working on her shoulder. I stopped working on her shoulder. Okay. Well, yeah. So, so I didn't do anything against her wishes. I mean, right, she said to stop, I stopped, okay? So what so, she feels, and again, this is her perception and what okay. she feels, and you know, you're showing me videos, you're explaining everything right. too, which makes sense what I'm seeing here right. too. What she's saying is that, you know, initially your hand was up kind of on right. her top shoulder area and right. slightly on the top of her breast, right. and then moved down again, to like her, yeah, right. 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 to, and she, what she calls is like a full frontal on top of her breast and that you were massaging her breast. So, okay, cool. nope. so um, I understand her perception. Yeah, Absolutely. and so you can obviously see how she could feel that way. You know, and there's when we do myofascial, you know, too, you're you are having her breathe that you know, take a deep breath, you know, exhale, and you're doing that. Okay, I mean, as they're breathing, you're you're doing that motion to try and stretch the fascia. Okay, it's Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, nope, you're you're perfectly fine. Okay. Um, it's good for you to talk a lot, right? Because yes. then it's 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 more for me to know. So I'm not going to stop you from talking. Okay. You know, I, I prefer you talk more than less. Okay. So you're not going to hurt my feelings. Right, right. Um, so what her perception is is that she didn't know that that was going to be done, okay. um, but that there was the communication throughout oh. that okay. that hey, how does this feel? Right. Does this feel better? Does this not feel better? And then she said she got to a point where she felt uncomfortable and she thought that it was inappropriate okay. and went to the line of being from a medical manipulation right. okay. to being inappropriate. At which time that she had said, "Hey, I think you've worked on my shoulder enough. No. I don't okay. need you to work on my shoulder enough." Okay. Um, and again, I know you see a lot of patients. I just don't know if you know you remember I anything specific to that or her. That's what I was saying. That's what I was wondering. You know, but but at least I I would do if someone 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 says, "Okay, I, I I think you've done enough. I stop." You know, right, I mean, which so. is what she said you did. Right. So okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Um. So that's the first piece of it. Uh -huh. Um. Then she says in the first video that you show me where she's obviously where she's flat on her stomach, stomach right. um, and then what she says again just like you're showing me and you're explaining right. to me is that um, your hand had went in between her butt cheeks right. and then she said the head went more towards her vagina and the vagina hole. Well, not, well, That's the way she's okay. explaining it to okay. me. So, okay. And again I'm not using medical terms, right. I'm using her That's terms, okay. right? That's okay. um, so what she says that your fingers went by her vagina hole right. and that she felt again that it was a massaging Right, okay. Nature, um, and that she felt that that had went on for too long, and that you hadn't explained it to her prior to you doing it. So she, it was unexpected to her that she didn't know that that was coming. And then when then you were doing it, that she felt like it was not. Was I, was I talking to her during the time, though, like I normally So do. she says, yes, again, that yeah. how does this feel? Does right, this feel better? better? Right. And she says that initially she says, yes, yeah, it does so feel better. Right. So you continue. Right. Um, and then she says that at some point that she says that she felt that it was hurting. So she says, hey, that hurts. Can you stop? And then um, you said you stopped at that time again. Okay. That's what I was saying. It's a... It's a um, it's an interaction, and I don't, I don't know how to say this, but that's that would be appropriate. It's like, you know, you're working on them, and you're trying to, and and trying to do the work. You need that feedback from the patient, and I'm getting the feedback, and I'm responsive to the feedback, and I'm talking, I'm talking my way through it, as she said I was. You know what I mean? And so, and. Um, I might have, if I don't. Again, I haven't been on the records, but if they, if they, that was my second, third. I don't know. It was my, my, I had seen her before. I know that. Okay. So that it might be in the note from before that I explained to her. Okay. So if you check the notes, okay, and see, you know, what I mean, if there is a, okay, check this, check the notes and see. You know, what I mean, if it's well, maybe, maybe, because sometimes I'll do that. If it's a repeat patient, I don't explain it all over again. Because okay. I explained it the first time. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. So like, have you done this type of... I don't know if I did it and I heard it the first time or not. Okay. okay. What I'm saying is that if that was in my treatment plan, you know what I mean? Like, okay, this is what we do when you come in. You know, this is the process or whatever. I might have explained it to her the first visit. Now make the appointment and come in 
you know what I mean, and we'll do the work the second time. So it might have been like, you know, when you, okay, the first time it's an initial reveal, I might like, okay, this is where I probably will go with this, and I would have explained things in the first visit about what we're going to do the next visit, okay? So that's when it's a follow-up. I usually don't explain as much because I think I explained a lot, and I just get to work and I talk through it. So that would be part of the documented medical record. Okay. Okay. How will um, your um, office, how would she go about signing release to get those medical records to turn over to me? Yeah. Or how would that, yeah. is that yeah. how you get your normal procedures over yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, the release because of HIPAA. Yeah, right. 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 I'm saying we need a search warrant right. for that stuff. Right. So right. Um, right. if she, she were to... Copies of the records. You okay. Know. Yeah. And so, you know, and then, because I, I have, I don't want to be on there. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's it, whatever's there is there. Okay, so um, whatever. Okay, so that's that's what I'm saying is that it's it would have been if if I explain stuff a lot of times I was it in the first visit. Okay, and but from now on, I'll tell you what, this whole thing is getting changed because I cannot I cannot have anyone leave feeling that way again. You know what I mean? That's the bottom line. You know what I mean? So right, which is why you're here today, obviously. Exactly, right. because it, it, there's no way. So, I mean, lots of things have to change to protect myself from having that, you know, happen again. You know what I mean? And also the patient from feeling that way. But it's like, okay, you know, what What can we do? You know, da 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 So it's like I've already been talking with Dr. Covan and Dr. Deed. So, okay. you know, like, okay, you know, we need to do this, we need to do that. We're talking about policy changes, you know what I mean? So that, because we all go in the rooms by ourselves. You know, my wife is at so oh, 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 the be Alliance, you know what I mean? She, says she, has, she gets sometimes her exam done, which is the doctor in the room, you know? So that, that can be one of my questions, because um, she had said that there was a resident in the room um, for Usually a fair amount. Usually resident medical students or, right, right, that, that, or a, a fellow, you know, there's a bunch of people that rotate through. Okay, so then does the resident, and again, just because I don't know your guys' procedure, right, right. does the resident normally stay in the room the whole time and they come and go? It depends on when the next, because they, they usually go in first. You know what I mean? So I don't know if, if, if that resident went in first on that. It's been a while. But the resident will, will usually start, report, you know, or it depends on where they are, where we are. Like if, if if I go in the room with the resident, then I'll go through stuff, and then if the next patient comes, I send the resident to the next patient because that's part of it. They have to do an eval and then report to you what they saw and all that stuff. You know, so then if um, I, I will be in the room either – the resident goes in first, and I join the resident, and then we work, and then the resident, if the next patient comes, the resident can go to the next room, you know, so that we keep the, the traffic flow going. So okay. that's that would be the process of normal routine. It would be if, if – because I only have two rooms, and if I hear the, the patient gets put in the room next to us, I'm like, go check if the patient's ready, go start seeing the patient, you know, and it depends on where that resident is because – the residents learn, I teach some of the residents if they're DOs that do manual medicine, some of these techniques, like put your hand here, do that, you know what I mean? And then I say, okay, you know, go to the next room, if you're ready, you can, you know, so it's like see one, do one, teach one type deal. You yeah. know? So, you know, it depends on which residents it is, you know, as to where there are in the rotation and training. But yeah, the resident could have actually done some of this. So do you remember in this specific incident, like I when the resident know. left or was it in there? I don't remember, you know, but um, um, if there was a resident, that would be the, and Dr. Covan actually, not, not just said that, Dr. Covan did bring up that the resident left, that there was a resident, the resident left the room, okay, so if the resident left the room, it was to go see another patient, okay, Okay. but that would have been the only reason why the resident would have left the room was to let a new patient come in, you know, so that's, but that's, again, that would make sense because that's what I always do, that's a standard procedure. Okay. okay, so obviously that's one of her concerns too, is that, you know, she felt comfortable while the resident was in there because obviously there's two people in there. The right. resident was a female at the time. And then she said that when this occurred, um, the resident was no longer in the room and she didn't know obviously, you know, what the intention of that was because then that's right. when right. these manipulations are taking place. Yeah. So it depends on when that resident was in their rotation. Okay, so that's what I'm saying is a lot of times I will, if they're DOs and they've got a menu medicine hint, they'll actually, or tint, whatever, desire, you know, they'll learn this stuff. Okay. You know, like, put your hand here, do this, you know what I mean? And so, and I don't know if that resident was one of those, because if it's an MD resident, they don't have a... Do you know who the resident was for that one? Do you have a specific resident assigned to you, a resident assigned to you? We have residents, well, they rotate through on, if okay. they're a medical student, I don't even know if it's a resident, you know what I mean? Okay. I don't even know if it's a medical student. All right. Okay, so, but that's, that's, um, 
that's normal for a lot of us. You know, I mean, like they go in and see a patient, so they're in the room by themselves with the patients. That's just okay. What it is. Um, with Dr. Colvin, or who do you know who would have that information as to which resident was that, with you that day? That, that Vicki Curley, our office manager. Okay. Would be able to figure that out, I think. You know what I mean? Because there should be a rotation graph or whatever. Okay. So, um, uh, Vicki Curley, our office manager, would know that. You know, so do you want me to try and get that information to you? Um, I can call. Um, okay. Just because obviously I'm going to want to touch the. If, Residents if they, or whatever, yeah, right. because obviously they were in a room, it sounds right. like, for almost, I, I'll even go as far as like three quarters of the examination time. Right. So, I obviously want to talk to so that right. resident to find right. out, hey, what did you observe during right. the three quarters of the right. time that you're in the room? Right. When did you leave the room? Right. Um, and how did you come about leaving the room? Things like right. that. Right. Right. Um, well, I would have been to have seen another patient. Okay. So, unless it was the end of the day and they had to leave, but that's rare. They okay. Would have, it would have been to see the, the next patient. Okay. Um, and so then, um, you were trying to schedule a follow-up appointment with her. Um, and normally, we'll, normally I say when I do this, it's like, okay, if they respond well, I'm like, okay, we'll do once a week for like three weeks, and then okay. you're usually, it's like once a week for three weeks, and then if you're, then usually I tell people, you're like 80 to 90% better, we'll spread it out, we'll go like, we'll put an appointment out there for a month after that or whatever, you know, to see how, to see if you can hold the treatment, you know what I mean? But it's usually like um, initial appointment, then once a week for three weeks, if this stuff works, you know what I mean? So the, the manipulations. and. So if, if it hadn't, if she didn't, if there was no benefit from the treatment, she would have been off, done with the baby and had, we're like, okay, you know, there's, you didn't benefit from it, I'm not going to do it again, you know, type deal. Because okay. you see the, the effect, you know what I mean? It's like, and obviously she must have, like she said, at first it was feeling better, you know what I mean? But then she's, whatever, processed it, like, wait a second, okay, so um, then obviously she felt violated, you know what I mean? But the feedback that I was getting was, okay, she's getting better, but, you know, that's that's the way that I was, the communication re reciprocation, that's what I was feeling, okay. okay? So that's the confusion, I guess, that, that, I'm, that I'm having is where, where did I not sense any bodily changes you know, because obviously she said, okay, you know, that's good or whatever, and I was done, you know what I mean? So I, there was no other mannerisms that I would, that I, there's no other mannerisms I could figure out how I would know that she felt uncomfortable, okay? That's what I'm getting at is why, that's that's why I, if I'm having, I'm having like, okay, okay, when did I see that patient? What did I do? What, what clues, what am I missing here? Okay, because I, this is a normal process for me, okay? That's why I'm like, why this person, why that time, what the heck happened, okay? And so that's... And so right. You know, it's like... You want to talk about a nightmare, you know? Yeah. Okay, I, but um, so it is what it is, but that's why I'm like, this was, I had no ill intent. I had no reason to, I had no, it's other than. All for medical reasons. Well, of course, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's, this is my me. I don't know, you know, it's like. It, and so I don't know what created me to have a bad day that day that created this out of all the times that I've done this. It's like, what the heck, you know? So I don't know. I, you, I don't know. Um, obviously, like you said, you're not picking up anything from her body that you're right. thinking, hey, well, she's really uncomfortable. Yeah, or I mean, you would, you would get that, and, and you would get that tensing, you know what I mean? You get that. So do you remember her, um, and I obviously gave you the information for both times when she said, hey, right. you know, I don't need to work on my shoulder anymore. Um, you're saying you don't remember her saying that as far as that. I can't remember that. The, 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 all, all I'm doing is the generalizations. Like I know that if I was if I was treating her in that way, this is what I must have been doing. Okay. You know what I mean, because that's standard. That's normal. okay. Okay. So you know to remember. How can I? How can I honestly say that I can remember the details of every part of it? 
that's not like you know that's not uh, yeah and i'm asking just because obviously the details are helpful if you do right, remember them right, right. um and then as far as when you were down you know by her vagina mm -hmm. is that something that you remember as far as her saying you know that hurts or stop or anything like that I, no i don't I, I i'm honest i don't you know what i mean but if she said stop or hurts i would have stopped and changed okay. you know i mean that that would have been what I should do. That's, so if if she said that, that should have been my response. Okay. So that's hopefully what I did. You know what I mean? So I hope I stopped or made it so it didn't hurt or whatever. So, but um, it's it's clear. I mean, it's it is clear in my mind that obviously I was doing those techniques and trying to explain to her as I'm going through it. And you know, so I'm like, well, obviously, you know, there's going to be so there's going to be a um, disconnect that occurred and how come I I wasn't aware of that disconnect that's that's going to be my big issue that I have to wrestle with is why right. why didn't I understand that at that time in that sh I had a patient feeling that way okay that's that's my biggest the, you know that's that's my big issue that I got it because that's from in here it's like what what wake up you know what I mean like why that's going to be my that'll never leave me okay that's my self torture i guess you could say that yes she was victimized yes i was victimized to myself okay because hurting someone like that ain't right okay it's not right okay and that's what i'm saying that's why that hurts me to hurt her, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm talking about yeah. So, anyways, that's what I'm going to live with. That's plain and simple, okay? And and that's why I keep rolling in my head. So I, I need other safeguards because if I can't find out why, i got to have other safeguards built in that is other than my own use of force, Luke, okay? Because I need to have some other, and so it's got to change because it, it's, it's done. It's it, All these years of work is done. Flush it. You know, it's done because I can't. I cannot do that to another person, and I cannot live through that for another, for myself too, you know. So it's like, okay, you know, total rework. What are we gonna do, you know? So, but it's gotta change. It has to. Right, which is true because, like you said, I mean, we need to make sure that everyone's covered. Yeah, well, right. I guess. You're thinking like I'm sorry. Yeah. You're thinking like a police officer. I'm right. thinking like a. I don't. Yeah. I don't want yeah, coverage. Yeah, I am a police officer, I know, right? I know. Yeah. I'm thinking, no, it's not yeah. about coverage. It's about morals and ethics and how people feel. Right, which is your that. doctor speak. No, that's... <laughs> right, we're on the same page. Okay. We're on okay. the same page. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for those other videos, did those show more in detail? I know you said they're graphic, but are they showing like the exact like, templates and like, yeah, where they're like at? Hand, and I'm talking about the between the veg, you know, and the, you know, the, the rectal area. Okay. And, and I'm working up toward the rib cage now, you know, but I don't have any videos of the... Um, of uh, the techniques for the for the rib cage, you know, what I mean, other than the lectures that I have. Okay. Okay. And and that's you know, because uh, that's that's like a I don't know how to say it. That's like that's nothing. I, I don't know. You know, I mean, that's like I, uh, that's so common that that's 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 a normal. Okay. You know what I mean? Where you where you're yeah. You know what I mean? That, that that's you can open up any textbook and 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 see that stuff. Okay. So that's that's I'm like. I don't know. I, I don't have any videos of that. No, that's fine. Videos. Even if you send me like the few pictures that you showed me, sure, that sure, would sure. be more than sufficient because yeah. obviously we can see the hand placement. But on... I'm, I'm I'm reversed. Okay. okay. I would have been at her head, and I, and that's what I'm like if it was shoulder stuff or ribs. I would have had her on her side too. Okay? Yeah, that's what she said. So I would have had her on her side, and then I'm compressing because when you do the fascial um, releases, you can do it sitting. Okay. But I like to lay them either down or on their side. Okay, and then you can compress better front to back. Okay, and then I've got control of their arm, so I can compress the. If you're on the fourth rib, fifth rib, third rib, you know, because the scapular thoracic dynamics of the way your the way your shoulder moves, the scapula has to move, and that's why rowers get so many rib problems because of the using the serratus and the scapula. And so when you want to release the rib cage, then you compress from the costal sternal to costal vertebral compression. Okay, and then you can use the scapula to get it out of the way. But if I'm working rib four, or rib five, rib three, they're that's breast. You know what I mean? That's that's breast, and that's breast. But it's 
compression. It's, you know, and so if she said I was massaging, it would have been like, does that feel better there? Does that feel better there? Take a deep breath. You know, how, you know, that type of thing. So like, take a deep breath, um, move your arm up. Um, I would have been, lay, she would have been laying on her back and I would have like turned her head, you know, and done like one hand would have been here pushing down, you know, like this. Sometimes I'm, I'm here between the, the breasts, you know what I mean? But so sometimes you cross, cross patterny, okay? So that you're doing it from this direction, okay? So, but it's, it, my hands would have been more like this as opposed to like this. Okay. okay. And then sideline, you're, you're like this. Okay. So like her head would have been like, if this is the body, that's the head. Okay. okay. So I would have been like this. Okay. With my hands on, so that my thumbs, so like your thumbs connect from the costal sternal to mid axillary line to costal vertebral, then you compress the rib and once, and as they breathe, then the rib is, you're able to, to release, it's called a release, it's releasing the rib. Okay. So if I did sideline techniques, that's my sideline techniques. Okay. If it's supine, it's supine. Okay. Supine, laying, on, laying on their back, yeah. you know, and sometimes you go from prone to supine to, to seated. To, you know, I mean, you've got all these different ways to treat them. You know, that's why I'm like, it could have been any one of those, you know, positions, but that's the positions I would have used for those root techniques. And, and again, if she felt offended, I'm like, why didn't I sense that? And that's, that's my burden. But anyway, so, um, I so it seems like you obviously have, which is great, you have a very set routine that you go through with every patient. Um, is there any reason you can think of of why you wouldn't have walked her through the steps as to what was coming up next or what you're going to do? Other than if I thought I had explained it to her the visit before, because this was a follow-up visit. Okay, that would have been the only reason why. Would have been if I thought I had explained things to her the visit before. Okay. okay? Instead of having big, so that's why then I like then I, then I'm just going through it because I've already explained what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? So does that does that make any sense? Yeah. So I, she had said that she. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know if you recall that at all or no, but that. I, so, I, no, I don't. Yeah, so she had said it showed like in one of the videos you showed me, um, it looks like there was some butt palpitations. Right, of course, right, right. Um, so that's what she was in there for before was okay. that. And she says she remembers leaving and telling like people on her chair sure, came right. back. Right, and they right, kind of right. talked about that. Right. Um, so that's when she was in there. So, um, but she was there before. I on think. a different occasion? I think the time before, or was that the only time? I can't, I can't remember unless they pull it up. But I thought that was a follow up. One other time? Yeah. Do you know what um, she had been in there recently as far as the follow-up would go? Wasn't that the second time? I, I can't remember. I don't know if that was the... So... That was that the second time of, the, of recently? You know what I mean? Like I saw her once and she came back? Or no? So I have no recollection of her as a, you know, went to high school. Yeah, right. So that's obviously going a few years back. So, um, you know, she's not alleging um, that anything, she didn't think anything inappropriate happened, you know, before, right? in her previous yeah. visit. Yeah. Um, and she said that, um, she it sounds like she had some other issues, um, right. that she needed physical therapy for and stuff. Um, so she's not alleging anything inappropriate. It just stuck out in her head right. that she thought, you know, hey, he was kind of like poking at my butt. Right. Um, right. And then, um, and that's when Yeah, you guys definitely need the records then. You know what I mean? That's okay. Because that stuff would be documented anyway. Okay. Okay. And, you know, if, if because maybe that's, that's what I'm thinking is, 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 was that a second visit or a first visit? I, I, I can't, I, you know, I, I purposely have not, I didn't want to, you know what right. I mean? So, you know, it's like, just let it be, you know. 
And then, so um, after your appointments, like are your notes pretty detailed? So like from this visit that we're talking about, that's... It should say like OMM with the ME and MFR and strain counter strain to the, you know, cervical thoracic rib cage, you know, and then you, my notes are usually pretty good. Okay. Okay, my notes are usually pretty good. So myofascial release, um, strain counter strain. That's that's the, all this positioning stuff. Too. Okay. Okay. So that's HVLA is cracking the back. Okay. So if you see HVLA in the note, that's high velocity, low amplitude. Okay. So HVLA is like a cracking. Okay. And P is muscle energy. All right. Hang on. I'm sorry. Yeah. HVLA right. is, yep. is is cracking the back. That's high velocity, low amplitude. Okay. ME is muscle energy. That's um where you again it's like working with the patient. Okay, push here, push here. Okay. Um, strength counter strength. So you put them in a position where okay, does that hurt now? No. Okay, now just breathe. You know, you try and put them in a position where it doesn't hurt. And I always say myofascial release. You combine with the strength counter strength so that you're as they're breathing, you're releasing, you're following it, you're you're moving further because you're getting a release. So as they breathe and as you're okay, if I'm here to start, I'm going to get more release. So you, you go farther and farther. Okay, I've already stored length. I've gotten them down to another rib. You know what I mean? You're you're following the pattern. Okay? So it's like like I've been called the body whisper. You know, it's like, you know, you know, you you, you feel it, you know, and, 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 and most of the time my eyes are closed, okay, because I'm doing like I'm doing right now. You know what I mean? Like I'm feeling it. You know, and, and and that people say I do that in my lecture too. I close my eyes. Well, you've done it here. I've noticed, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying that's that's the way because it's it's a uh, uh, <laughs> use the force. You know, what I mean, it's like you you feel it, and that's what the, when I did cranial, okay, cranial is where like you, you you put your hands on the head, okay, and you're trying to feel the cranial bones move. I mean, go figure, okay. And um, when I was a student, I took. Um, Dr. Greenman, who was the guy who, like I said, wrote the book, 20-hour course, couldn't feel it. Dr. Mitchell, Fred Mitchell, whose father invented muscle energy. I mean, these are like the gods of, of manual medicine. Heads are rock. I still couldn't feel it. Viola Fryman comes in from, so that was 60 hours, and I still couldn't feel it, okay? And so Viola Fryman comes in from uh, California. She's like 70, 75, and she was an older, older lady. Um, and she was older than the other two, so she was old. And I finally felt it. And it's because the way that she described it to me, to, to the class, you know, was that it's a triangle. It's you, the patient, and the spirit above. And it's this triangle pattern. And you have to get into that so that, because you, you don't want the bad stuff to come back into you, because then you get all bad. You've got to be able to pass it through. It's, it was this, you know, it's this conceptual thing, you know what I mean? So that yeah. you're trying to get into, like, like she was talking about how you can actually unwind them. Like if they were in a car accident, as you're going through this, you actually get them into position that they went through, and, and and as you unwind them, the pain goes away. It's it's esoteric. It seems strange, but it's bizarre that yeah, that's medical. Okay, I mean like right. and and literally, you know, I'll go through gyrations with them because I'm actually unwinding them of what pattern built it in. So if they got built in that pattern, if if you do a Rubik's cube, you unwind it the right way and you you solve it in less than a minute. Okay, so if you feel the tissues, okay, that was brought down here, then there, then there, and all of a sudden they can release. Like the video showed that the girl with the leg thing, you know what I mean? I did the releases, her range of motion doubles. You know what I mean? I can test that stuff beforehand, like I was showing with the girl sitting. I put my hand on her bum, you know, pain goes away, no, pain's still there. I changed my hand, pain's calm now. Okay, I know I, I know that that's then the, the angle or the vector that I need to do to unwind that. Okay, so it's totally, yes, if I would have gone further, that's natural, because she's getting lengthened, I'm unwinding it, you know, and so that's, that's when I finally felt the cranial bones move, was when I was able to connect. It's a, it's so, it's very powerful for me, you know, because, right. you know, I can so, see that. so it's, it's, that, that's the thing is, I, you know, did I, did I somehow, I obviously must have to her, reach the line where I was feeling connected, like, unwind, you know what I mean, I, did I get into it too much, you know, like, did I feel like, oh, you know, there it goes, you know what I mean? And and you just ride the, the, the body rhythms. It's 
it's, it's hard to describe, but it's 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 it's, it's, it's what osteopathic myofascial release is about, okay? And it's unwinding. Okay, you can write that. I, I don't use that word, but that's a medical term for myofascial. It's unwinding. You unwind them, and it's the release of the fascia. You know, it's it works. You know, I don't know how else to say it. Do you have a real problem? I can show you. Not currently. I said some point though, that I get here, I'm gonna start feeling my aches and pains, that's right? right. Um, so, I mean, that's why you're here. Right. You're here because it's under investigation, okay? Right, right. Um, we want to talk to you. We want to find out what you have to say about it. Right. And like I said, I mean, I'm just going to go through this. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything with you that I want to cover. I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything that she said because, you know, I'm not going to hide anything from you. I'm not going to keep no, it a secret. It's, and it's just, it's... Right, obviously it's your whole profession. It's, what, just, it's, it's about it's who you are. It's right? not even the profession. It's who me, you know what I mean? Like, the... There's such an important trust, and to feel that I violated that with someone, that the, 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 the sexual stuff for you know, it's the trust. That's the that's the hard part for me. Okay, because right. that, that's the whole thing. Sorry. No, but you're it's okay. To break someone's trust, that that irritates me. Okay, sorry. No, you're you're fine. Yeah, you I. Can't, what I always tell people is you can't get that bad. You know what I mean? That's that's the way it is. You know what I mean? It's like okay, you know, you, you, it's time, and, and that's 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 me. I, I just I don't know. I, you don't you honor that. You respect that. That is that is the vital thing. Okay, and somehow or other that the, 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 and, and that that hurts. That hurts. You know. I, I don't know. Okay, but that's I'm sorry. No, you are perfectly fine. I'm, I, I'm sure if I put myself in your shoes, I mean, it's weighing pretty heavy on you all the way around for a multitude of reasons. Right, right. Um, so there's a couple things that I want to do here. Obviously, I want to get the videos because mm -hmm. it does illustrate what she and you are both saying okay. happened, right? Okay. Um, there are only a few minor places where you guys kind of split the road okay. there. Everything you're telling me is everything she told me. So it's not like she's telling me, Anything right. else, okay. okay? So what okay. you're saying that you would have done is what she's saying you, you yes. did. Okay. Um, again, what we're looking at is maybe perceptions, right. misperceptions, right. um, that she felt that she didn't know what was coming or what was going to be done right. for explanation purposes. Right. Um, and again, this is what you know she's saying. Right, right. I totally um, understand. But what she's saying happened is exactly what you're saying happened. Yeah, because yeah. I talk to my patients all the time. That's why I'm... I'm I make that you can see the videos. I'm such. I have a whole website of education. You know, I mean, it's gymnastics doctor Facebook, gymnastics doctor YouTube, gymnastics doctor dot com. It's all about education. It's all that's my 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 company's gymnastics doctor, the, the, the sports medicine professor. You know, what I mean, it's like that's what I'm known for. You know, what I mean, as a physician, I've been the national contributor of the year for the sport of gymnastics five times. Not even a coach has been contributed here five times. Right. I didn't know who you were until so I started looking you up, obviously, oh, to yeah, see yeah, who yeah, you were and what you're about. So. When you have that, do you, do you understand the trust that people have to have on you to, to that's what hurts because you, that that's sacred to me. You know, that's sacred. And so with you saying that, so I think that's part of why she is so upset, right? Because she puts that trust in your right. hands, right? And that's that's I'm like, how did that trust get that's that's what hurts is how did I violate that trust? You know, I mean and that's what did I say wrong? What did I do wrong? What what why did I breach it? Because you know, was I trying to get into her space, like talking to her about her social life, her family life? Because I do that a lot. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I, I'd say that's. Um, I'm not gonna say it's irrelevant because obviously um, she was a little concerned about the like on the Instagram picture. So I don't want to say it's irrelevant. So she did say that. So that's that's weird because yeah. you know that that was. The, you know what I mean, like you know, I mean they're all it's. You can you can I don't know if you can pull my Instagram records. I have like a, like a thousand pictures. I just go through and you know like 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 you know so you know because that's what I see with with Instagram and Facebook and stuff is there's a lot of injury stuff. You know what I mean? And that's that's what okay, who's wearing the boot, who's anyways, that's it's a total different process for me, okay? So um um it's not the, the it wasn't even her. You know, I don't even know if she was in the picture, you know, I don't know like like yeah. to me like an Instagram picture. Why would that's why I keep I keep going to like 
Why would why would that set her off? Yeah, so I would say the reason I don't want to say it completely set her off, and I don't want to say it's irrelevant right, because right. it is relevant. Yeah. But I think the reason why she was concerned about it is coming off of what she felt happened. Yeah, but that okay, but that tells me that you know. Anyways, I'm like okay. There's I'm looking at what it other what's behind the curtain. What other issues did I open up Pandora's box for her? You know, was she stalked before? Was she had what? What other issues are there that she may have had that I infringed upon that she has built up walls for? Whether it's I don't want people in my space, you know what I mean? Like like I don't want people in my space. Whether it's physical space, mental space, um, you know, to to get to, to get connected with. I don't know, you know, because that's what I do. That's how I I try to connect because I need to. It's just the way that I work, you know what I mean? And, and that's why my patients love me. I mean, that's why I like us, because I talk to them, I listen, and we share stories, and you know what I mean? And I, and I just, it's, I don't have to go to work, I get to go to work, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. And, 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 and so it's for, it just rocks my world, I don't know. So that why it would be um, really helpful if you can rack your brain a little bit right, sure, sure. to get any amount of details from this specific one, because she is saying that there was that communication there, right? So does it feel good? Right, does it right, hurt? Right, is it right, feeling right, better? Right, right. So the part that, so the breast part, you know, she's thinking, well, your whole hand is on her breast. She felt that that communication wasn't there as to why your whole hand right, would be right, on her right, breast. Right, right, right. Um, you know, the way you're explaining to me and you're showing to me, right. I perfectly understand it, right? right? What she's saying is that there wasn't that communication there as far as, what was going to come next, what was going to happen. So she's not understanding, okay, I can understand half a hand on my breast, right, 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 on my shoulder, right, but I'm not yeah. understanding why his whole hand. And I, don't, and I don't even know if my whole hand was or not, you know what I mean? But I know that I'm, I'm, if I'm on those ribs, I'm going to be around that whole breast issue. There is, okay. there is no question about it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, but like I said, it was to me, a pushing, a releasing, if I was doing that, it's not a caressing, a grabbing, a, you know, uh, a, a um, uh, groping, you know what I mean? It's a, it's, it's a releasing, it's, it's a different form of touch, you know, and that's the part that bothers me, it's like, how did she get a different perception of the trust, the, the trust of the, of the touch, you know what I mean? It's like, wait a second, you know what I mean? Because that's, it's like, poof, there goes that lecture off the wall. It's like, you know, because I always tell people, people sense a different type of touch. You know what I mean? Like, and so, you know, that's so high. I should be able to be on her breast, but have a medical bond on breast. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay? So, yeah, I was probably on her breast. Okay? There would have been a reason for it. And it wouldn't have been a groping reason. And that's, that's the part I'm like, how did that get lost? Right, okay. so then the same thing for her vaginal area is that um, I think it sounds like um, Dr. Coleman had explained to her, hey, he teaches this right, procedure, right, right. Um, there, his hand will be in the crotch area. Yeah, I don't know that he specifically used the word crotch, but that's the word she used. Right, um, yeah, obviously, yeah. probably the doctor, he didn't use the word crotch, but that's right, what she's saying. Right. Um, so she said that um, that is, you know, a standard procedure you guys follow, that the, you've trained the office how to do that, you've trained other people right, how to do that. Right. So what her concern was is that um, she did not know that your hand was going to go inside her underwear. Right, right, to move the underwear out of the way. Mm -hmm. right, like I, right, which I saw so, those videos very clearly. Right, 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 right. So that's why I'm like, okay, you know, that's where, that's where, you know, if I didn't prep her properly, you know, I mean, that's where I'm like, okay, then I, why would, you know, I, I can't, all I know is that I'm talking to her through it, and if I did it, because I can't say whether I did or not, because I can't remember. I mean, it's just reality. It's like I would have explained stuff to her, okay? And so if I didn't, it was a screw-up on my part for not, and I don't know why I didn't, okay, okay. if I didn't, okay? But that's because that's SOP. It's like just do it. You know, you, you talk to the patient, you tell them what you're doing, you do it. You know what I mean? If I didn't say it, if, if, if she was... Did she miss it? I don't know. Was did she not understand what I was saying? Like this is what I'm going to do, and it didn't compute to her. That's possible too. In other words, like, you know, did I say okay, I'm going to do this, and she didn't? It didn't register to her what I was going to do. I don't know. 
okay? But, or did I try and explain stuff the, the, the time prior, if this was a second visit? You know, because a lot of times I'll explain stuff the first visit and then just assume, okay, you know, explained it the first time type of deal, okay? But the kinetic chain, I always talk about a kinetic chain, you know, that's like I'll show on the videos, you know, from your ponytail to your heel, whatever. Um, but the, the um, uh, uh, process of doing what I'm doing is second nature. So did I, at, for whatever reason, do it with, with thinking that I did, say, you know what I mean? That's, that, that, that I could say, yeah, okay, that's a possibility okay. that, that I thought I had said it and didn't, okay? Because when you, when it's something's routine, you know what I mean? It becomes routine, yeah. okay? And so did I, did I, did I fuck up and not say it, okay? Well, obviously in her opinion, yeah, okay? Or did I say it and she didn't hear it, okay? In other words, it didn't, what I was saying, A, B, C, she heard D, E, D, E, F, okay? Because it's interpretation, you know what I mean? So what I thought was being said was not what she was hearing, Yeah. okay? That's legit too, you know what I mean? But, but if it doesn't, it, to me, it doesn't matter. What matters is how she felt, you know what I mean? So whether it's... So maybe legally it makes a difference, I don't know, but the bottom line is uh, she felt violated and that's my issue that I got to figure out why because I explain things, I talk, I'm constantly in communication with my patients and it obviously wasn't in a way that it, that it affected her, okay? It obviously wasn't in a way that, that she understood, okay? Right. So however it was that I explained to her, it didn't compute to her, okay? And that's an issue. That's why I'm saying that everything has to change because you, you, I need more safeguards. You know, if I, it has to become has to become too routine for me that I can start making mistakes by being too routine. That's an issue. That's where I got to. You know, okay, what else can I do then? I got it's like throw some cold water on me. Wake up, Larry. You know what I mean? You got too routine. I got too comfortable with it. You know what I mean? Or something? I don't know. You know what I mean? But it's it's. It's a huge wake-up call, okay? And I need to, it's, my, my clinic will never be the same again. It's bottom line, you know? And, it, and it's going to suck because I like being able to, so I got to figure out how I still can be a mentor. I, I got to still figure out how I can still do be able to, to, to connect with the patient, talk with the patients, and work through, because so much of it is mental, and you can sense that, you know what I mean? And work through that. And when I'm working on the patients, I'm also trying to establish that relationship to work through the mental part of the component of the stress, too, you know? And so it's, it would take a lot of the, uh, of the doctor-patient relationship, whatever, that's too cold for me. It's like it would take a lot of the essence out of what I do. But I got tough, you know what I mean? My, my, I can't have this happen because the drawing to, to me the absolute the absolute line is this trust line and that's that's I can't that's I can't let that be breached again you know what I mean that that hurts that that really hurts and that's where I'm like okay you know what I mean you 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 you, you got to change you know because you can't have that happen even if it's by accidents of course you know but you can't you don't want it to even happen by accident right you know? so um because I think maybe, you know, some of this could have been avoided. Well, i got to have other, yeah. I, you know, now, like, okay, you know, hindsight 50-50 or whatever, I should have asked her better to explain. Well, yeah, that's what I keep going through. How did I not explain it to her better? How did I not, you know, a lot of that could have been avoided if I would have perceived something that she was uncomfortable, of course, you know what I mean? And, and also that, that she didn't understand what I was doing. You know, I'm like, those are two huge things. It's like, how could you not understand that she didn't understand? How could you not understand that she was feeling uncomfortable? What? Yeah, and that is what it boils down to. Right, right. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's like, what the frick? You know, I mean, like, what? You know, and that's, but it's, it's so because it's like, uh -huh, that's not good. You know, that's bad. Okay, that's very bad. And you got it. It's like, yeah, you know, but does that make it a, a legal issue or does that make it a, like you said the other the, the medical people you know what I mean it's like yeah you know what I mean yeah so okay you know I need to have better 
um, written consents, uh, you know, like I've already like drawn up a draft. If you feel that, you know, during your office visit today, a medical student, a nurse, an MA, a resident, a fellow, and a physician, and a physician assistant all may be in the room with you and all may touch you. And if you at any point during that time that you feel that you don't understand what's going on or that you feel that they're touching you inappropriately, please stop and, and let the person know it's empty. That's like a, 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 a paragraph that I came up with, you know, like, okay, do I need to have that on every single one of my things, you know what I mean, like, set to them, you know, um, by the MA, you know, when they get their heart blood pressure done, you know, that needs to be in there, but beyond that, it's got to be, okay, you know, if, if I'm doing any of these techniques now, it's expensive, it's cost prohibitive, but do I have to, like, if I don't have a rotator in with me, do I have to go get a rotator, do I have to go get a nurse, do I have to pull someone out, you know, I mean, that, and so that's, that's right. there now, that's done, you know what I mean, it's like, okay, that part is guaranteed, it's like, if I'm doing these techniques, there's someone else in the room, that's done, you know what I mean, so that's, that's like, okay, I can't skip, you know, it's cost, you know what I mean, I, it's a cost thing for having someone else in the room, you know what I right. mean, so, but tough, you know what I mean, it's worth the extra expense to go through what the hell I'm living right now. So yeah, you know and well, I mean? your witness, right? Yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah, well, that's what I mean, it's like, it's, it's basically to, you know, to double check you or whatever, you know, because, like, if I'm slipping up, then the other person at least is there to say, hey, Dr. Nassar, she looks uncomfortable, or hey, Dr. Nassar, you know, can you, I don't get her, you know, but most of the time I'm, excuse me, explaining to the resident what I'm doing too, you know, so I, or a medical student, I, it could have been a medical student, I don't know. Yeah, could and have, I obviously don't have that information been a fellow. right now. Okay. You know, it could have been a fellow, you know, fellows uh, doing a year-long rotation, so there's medical students, I mean, I, So she wants to go into medicine, and you know. So anyway, so she's coming in and spending a week with me to to, to just observe and to, you know um, go through. So I have you know how high school students do that you know, yeah. job shadow type stuff, you know. So I have high school students in there a lot, you know. So that's it, what it is. So where is Doctor? What is Doctor Coven like? Where is he at on this whole thing, or what has he said? We had that that conversation, you know what I mean. But that's what he said. It's like you know that he told her that what you, he, when um, they had their conversation, he said, that's, there he does this, this is what he explains, you know, and that it was totally medical, and, you know, and that, um, but he said, I, you know, because you complained, you know, I mean, we don't, you know, because of what happened at Penn State, you know, that's what the dean said, too, because of what happened at Penn yes. State, we're not sitting on this stuff. You know, and I said, I encourage yeah, it. And you know I'll I mean? look into well, it. Well, yeah, you know, because we don't want that, you know, and that's why I'm like, yeah, Jeff, you did the right thing. I don't feel any anguish towards him or, like I said, I voluntarily, boom, you know, that's fine. You know what I mean? Because I don't want any um, uh, curtains, you know what I mean? It's like, no, there's nothing for me to have a curtain about, okay? Because if, if it's there, it's there, it's... It's, you talk to any of the other uh, uh, doctors and stuff, you know, it's like. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm doing the same stuff, you know what I mean? And that's why it's like, to, uh, 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 I'm sorry. No, I you know, like I said, the so, more you talk, the better. You know, so you don't have to apologize. But I'm just, I'm just trying to, to, to um, um, explain. I guess that that's, it's. There, I'm sure there's nothing. My hand placements are my hand placements are my hand placements are my hand placements. Whether she was 10 years old or whether she was. 84 years old. I mean, I've got a, a singer, a jazz singer. <laughs> but anyway, so, you know, and, and it doesn't, it's, it's the same. You know what I mean? It's the same. And you're in their private areas. That's why it's got to be trust. And right. that's the sacred thing to me, is the trust. And when you, that's what I can't get over. I just, that, that hurts. And that's what I can't get over. Okay, is that how did I violate someone's trust in that ear, that, whatever. I'm sorry, but that's, you don't want to go there again? Okay.
So, you know, where we're at now is that if you can send me those videos. Right, I've um, got the, the Dropbox. Okay. Okay. Well, um, you sent me an email, you said, right? So yeah. Because I, I have to send you that link. Just link. prior to calling you. So, okay, so um, it's on. Okay. So okay. check that one. You'll have an email from me. Okay. Do you have a card just in I case? I do, yeah. I, I appreciate that. And this has my office number that I called you from. Okay. And then it also has my email on there. Okay. Um, and if you could send those to me, that would be great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll send that tonight. Um, Get some popcorn. Yeah. What, you know, from what you're showing me and explaining is what she is telling me happened. Okay. Um, you know, the difficult part of reading through this, obviously, is right now it's titled as a sexual assault report. Yeah, that hurts, but that, yeah. Because that's what she's reporting, right? right? right. So right now, obviously, technically, you're the suspect right. in that sexual assault report. Right. It's under investigation, right. though. Okay. So we want to find out what did happen. Right. That's the whole purpose right. of right. a police right. investigation. You know, right. it's not to judge your conclusions. Right. It's not to take sides. Right. It's to find out what right. specifically right. happened. Right. Right. So in seeing what you showed me here today right. and what you're going to send me, right. the one option that may be available to us and sure, I need sure. to talk to her first is a polygraph examination. Sure. And a lot of people have a misnomer that they think that's a lie detector test, and it's not. Um, it shows both. It shows whether you're being honest and it shows what, or whether you're being dishonest. Okay. Um, it appears to me that you're telling me the truth sitting across me unless you know you're a great bullshitter. And, you know, you pulled the curtains over my eyes this whole time. But in combination with what I'm seeing here today, right. you know, I feel like you're telling me the truth. I mean, you're coming in here voluntarily, you're wanting to clear your name, um, and that's what a polygraph can be used for also, is to clear whatever, your name. Whatever is needed. So it's not, the TV show will call it a, I hate TV shows, you probably hate medical TV shows, right? Just like I hate, just like I hate law enforcement TV shows. Um, you know, three quarters of the stuff isn't true. So it, sh it can clear people also. So if you're sitting here and you're being truthful with me today, and everything you've said is the truth today, in combination with these videos, what that would show is that you did it for medical purposes, right. Right. not for Just any other purposes, purposes right? Exactly. Um, I, I've been investigating sexual assaults for the last eight years. I have not run a polygraph like this where it would be medical versus, say, a sexual assault. Okay. I would need to consult with her first to make sure that that's something we could do. So I don't want to say, hey, okay. you know, let's do that. I want to consult with her first to make sure that that would be a viable option for us. Okay. Um, I would like that to be a viable option just because, um, again, you know, I hope you didn't sit across the table from me and, you know, because right. no, um, no. then that would help clear you. And again, the police investigation is to find out what happened, right? right, right. And it's not to say that she had any ill intent for filing a report, right. but when we're talking about, again, communication, right. what her perception is, right. and this is the way she's feeling, right. which is what resulted in this report, right? right, right. Um, so that can help, on our end, from the police end, help clear up. Right, right, right. right. And right now there is just some real fine um, delineation between the two of you. Okay. But I need to consult with her just because, like I said, I haven't that's ran that's, a polygraph like that before. Right, 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 right. And so if that's something that you'd be willing to do and she says that that's a viable option, then we right. can just get some dates and times. Right. If it is viable, then generally those run at 9 a.m. or 1 p.m. We can do it any right. day of the week. Right. Um, and she explains everything, you know. Right. Would she benefit from seeing that stuff? Um, so she um, probably won't need to see that stuff. She will get a copy of my report. So okay. I just met um, with the complainant earlier today. I haven't even had a chance to pull the complaint and okay. check the report. I just thought I'd try and reach out to you and see if I could talk sure. to you today. Sure. See how I just talked to her. That's normally helpful. So what I'll do is I'll pull a complaint number. I will give you the complaint number so you know what that is. Um, I've got to obviously type up the whole entire report. Right. I'll talk to her tomorrow to see if she thinks that that would be something that she could run a test on. Okay. Um, and then that way that'll help show that, hey, you're being honest sitting across from me from the table right. today, in corroboration, like I said, with what I'm seeing in these videos, right, right. that you didn't do anything criminally wrong. I hope to God not, because that's, then I've been, then I've been spreading criminal, <laughs> you know what I mean? This right. is like, this is, I've been spreading, I've been telling people to go commit crimes and right and left, you know, because like I said, it's, it's not just Larry's, you know, world, it's, it's around the world. Right, yeah. which obviously I can see that from there. Yeah, and that's what I pride myself in, is educating and talking to people. And that's, 
it's just gone. You know what I mean? It's it's like you know we 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 we, we call it um, um you, you you your you you get knocked off your pedestal or something like that. You think that you know here I am the person that lectures all over. Here I am the doctor of the whole thing. You know what I mean? And 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 turn your world upside down. We, well, yeah, it's like okay, reality check. You know, you know one 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 person that you know and and it's all gone and it's like is so i have to i have to reconfigure and say i can't my life you know the, my wife my kids you know my my work that i built so hard on ain't worth it's hard for me to say this to try because my life is about helping other people but if this technique is going to create someone to have that issue is it worth it for me to put my butt out on the line like that? And it, it's from what I've been feeling, it ain't. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, there you, you do a lot of, of, of work. You know what I mean? Like I do a lot of free work. And, you know, I mean, I just, you know, with autism and um, the community, a lot of community stuff. But, but it's like, so, you know, do you need to take a step back and say, you know, Okay, you need to protect yourself more. You know, this is this. It's it's. I don't like that thought process, but it's a real. It's now it's sitting right, here. It's right. reality. You know what I mean? So, so do I need to change who I am to protect myself better? I might not like myself as much, but you know, I'll get through it. You know, but that's the that's. I still want to be able to get up and say I get to go to work. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't want to have to change my work so that I have to say I have to go. To you know what I mean? It's it's so that's going to be the hard part for me is to figure out how to make these adjustments to and and, and the simple thing is it's going to cost. The simple thing is someone else in the room. Right. That's the simple thing. You know what I mean? And tough, tough, going to just the way it is. You know what I mean? So that if it's going to cost us more money to have that in, then it's going to cost us more money. You know what I mean? Because it's going to take off from the staff. You know, so, and that's just tough, but that's... So what, did they change anything or put any measures in place? Um, so when you first were contacted, you know, obviously I think there was like a few weeks in between. Yeah, that, yeah. so, so you know, when Jeff, Jeff said that, we weren't really sure if it was going anywhere or not, you know what I mean? So um, we started talking, I think Jeff had started talking to Vicki, you know, our office manager, you know, okay, you know, we're definitely going to have to change things. We're, we're going to, you know, have to, you know, have doors open or nurses or stuff, you know, so there was some discussion about it, but not much, you know what I mean, because okay. of the fact that we weren't sure where it was going to, but it didn't matter. To me, it was already, what am I going to do? You know what I mean? So it was already in my ballpark, like, okay, you know, I started leaving doors open and stuff, and I'm like, boy, it's noisy, it's hard to, you know. It's hard to, and there's TIPA violations with right, doors yeah. open too, you know, so it's like, okay, you know. Um, so, so I, yeah, no, from that day on, I personally have been adapting to try and make changes. And the only thing that, that I have found is, do I need to have a person in the room? You know what I mean? That's just cost. Or do I just stop it? You know what I mean? And just like, but it helps so many people. So I think I'm going to be more judicious as to who I, like, I, so that way I don't have to have someone in the room as as often, you know, because I'm spending long time. So it's 30 minutes, to, when was the last time a doctor spent 30 minutes to 60 minutes with you? Uh, never. Okay. Would you appreciate that from a doctor who's talking to you, who's, how, I mean, like, I'm telling you, it's, it is, it's a standard that I guess I put myself, like I said, I just got knocked off my standard, you know, because everyone else was 15, 20 minutes, you right. know what I mean? And I've been able to do this and make it work, but you know what? I, I can be, I don't want to be like everyone else, but I, it's my wrestling, you know what I mean? That's, right. my, that's how I got to figure out how I can protect myself and not have this happen again because I obviously cannot rely upon my sense of what the other person is feeling. You know what I mean? Because that just got blown out of the water. Okay? That's what I, you know, it's gone. I can't get that back. I can't say that, that you know, in lectures even, you know, the sensation of, you know, the palpation versus the, all that stuff. I mean, it's gone. It's, it's, it just got proven wrong. You know what I mean? Right there. Bottom. 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 Which is true. You know, so it's, 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 it'll never be the same. I don't know how else to say it. It'll just never be the same. You know, so. 
that's my wrestling match, and that's where the university is going to have to, you know, it's not just it's, it's not just me. It's going to open Pandora's box because all of our docs are in the rooms by themselves. You know what I mean? And so, right. you know, and at any point when you're in the room and you got another person in the room, it, it doesn't, you know, you could be checking their shoulder and they could say, you know, oh, you touched my breast, whatever, and it, it could be the orthopedic surgeon, and there's no one else in the room. How do you corroborate it? So it's like, okay, so we, so it's not just me. It's like, how's this going to affect the, the whole thing? You know which I mean? is very true, which will be part of the university's investigation, right, obviously, right, and what exactly. they look at, like you said, from the whole university picture. Right, right, right. Um, so that is what um, Christine Moore from the Office for Inclusion, she'll be in contact with you from their office. Okay. Um, I asked her not to contact you until I could talk to you because okay. I obviously, as a law enforcement agency, I like to trump the okay. administrative okay. investigation, okay. so to speak. Yeah. They understand that. Right. You know, right. 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 I talk to them about that all the time, yeah. so it's yeah. nothing. That's fine. Um, yeah. So what I tell them is I always like to talk to the parties involved before they do. Um, so I will let her know that I have talked to you. Okay. So um, she would be reaching out to you. I'm not sure exactly when, but she'd be reaching out to you. Their investigation is very similar to our criminal investigation, okay. where they would talk to any possible witnesses. They'll talk to you, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they compile a report. Um, but then in addition to that, like you said, they look at, from the university scope of things, how things should maybe be handled right. differently. Right. And so we, even though we work for the university, we just handle the criminal end of things. Right, so okay. um, the reason we're investigating this is because you're in a leased office that MSU has that is basically contiguous to our campus. Right, right. Um, and so that's how that gives us the okay. jurisdiction here, as opposed to Meridian Township, where right, technically right. your building sits. Okay. So if you had any questions about that, that's why we're investigating okay, it. Okay. Okay. What questions do you have for me? Uh, do, do, um Right now, it's like, do you know how long it will be, or what? You know, I'm just trying to figure out um, what's our next step. Um, how long am I? The waiting is tough on me. You know, what right. I mean? it really is, and that's why I'm like, man, I'm, I'm eager to talk, to do. You know, so I, I don't know. You know, that's uh, yeah. So I just got to get in contact with a couple of people and talk to them. That she's given me names of people to talk to. Um, you know, basically people that she, she's talked to. Right. Um, so I need to reach out to them. I'd like to try and get the medical records, obviously, because okay. they'll right. sound like, according to you, those would be pretty helpful. Right. Um, I also don't like to have these take a long right. period of time. Right. So, you know, it would be my goal that hopefully that it would just be maybe a few weeks okay. Um, okay. and then, then we could have the investigation completed. Okay. Obviously, that would be dependent to, okay, can we do the polygraph? When can we get the polygraph right. scheduled? Right. Um, so for your five and a half weeks, is that kind of, how was that time frame put in place? How did they come up with five and a half weeks? That was just that Dean just said. Okay, just said, hey, okay, so that ended June. I've got a week vacation that's in there. So. So I actually leave for a vacation myself that week. Okay. So what my goal would be, yeah, bar I'm any sure. unforeseen right. circumstances, right. is that we have this wrapped up before you and I go on vacation. Awesome. Okay. So like I said, bar any unforeseen circumstances, I don't want to leave and go on vacation myself right. and still have right. um, some things to tidy up here. Right. Right. So I guess if that helps, that would be my time frame. That's, that's good. That's good. Um, so I have a couple people that I need to talk to. Sure. I'd like to get her medical records, talk sure. to our polygraph examiner about right. pitching for polygraph examination sure. so we can sure. do that. Sure. Um, and if you're available, you know, basically her first available spot, we can get you in. Right, right. Um, yes. And then that way that would help also with the right. investigation. Right, right. Is there anyone that you think I should talk to or that would be helpful to talk to? I'm going to talk to Dr. Covan because right. obviously right. he spoke with her, he met with her. Right. He knows you, he knows right. the procedure. So I need to talk to him. Right. Is there anyone else that you think I should talk to? Um, I think Dr. Lemon. She's another one of our doctors. Okay. Okay. So Brooke Lemon. Brooke. Right, Brooke Lemon. She works me, with me with gymnastics, and and uh, uh, she's been she's one of our office you know office partners and stuff. And okay. She knows these techniques, you know, too, and. Um, she knows what's going on. You know, I, I personally talked to her because she's like a, you know, she's a colleague that, you know, does she, it's like she said, Larry, I watched you for eight years. And I said, because I was worried about you getting yourself in trouble with that. He goes, and she said, 
you know, because she's so she as a female, you know, what I mean, because she's a female, so you might. That's why I'm thinking Brooke. Okay. You know I mean? Because she'd be a female doctor, you know. And you said, who is it that I could contact to find out who was in the room with you that day? Vicky. Vicky, Vicky Curley. Okay. Right. Vicky, she's our office manager. Is it C U R L I? C U R L E Y. E Y. Vicky Curley. V. And it's with an I. Okay. I think Vicky Curley might. English is like a second language for me. I'm not very good at spelling. <laughs> um, so as we go along, if there is other people that you think I should talk to, or I don't that we know what you like, you know, doctors. What do you? What do you I, I, that's why I'm not sure what you. Yeah, need. or basically anybody that may have information that would be relevant to this investigation. It sounds like the dean maybe just got information, yeah, kind of he, second, yeah, third hand, right, so to speak. Right, right. I think it would be. Dr. Dietzel, Dr. Coven, Dr. Lemon, you know, okay. I mean, that, that would be the, the appropriate, you know, thing um, um, for that, you know what I mean? So, um, Destiny, she's our athletic trainer. Okay. Destiny Teachner, Hawk. Sorry. Destiny, she works with me in the training rooms, okay? And she doesn't know anything about this, okay? So she's, she's totally... Then I, um, you know, I may hold off. Yeah. Um, she doesn't know anything about this, okay. but she, she's with me in the training room. She's like my voice. Now he's got to put his hand on here. You know what I mean? So, because cause I, I work with the athletes there, and I do the same techniques with the athletes in the training room. Okay. And so she's she's always the one that say, all right, now remember, he's going to do this. You know, so she's always over my shoulder talking to the patient. It's because I only got like 15 minutes, you know, there. So it's always a quicker okay. thing. And so um, she knows my techniques, and she's, she talks, you know, so she helps with the education of the patients, you know, from that to the athletes, you could say. We do this on guys, too, in case, in case that matters, you know. All right. It's not like just on girls, you know what I mean? I'm, there's basketball players that, you know, with Covan and other track athletes, you know what I mean? It doesn't, it's, I, I mainly work with Fierce Christian Gym, but in the, where I see the guys, it's mainly in the training room. Okay. You know what I mean? And so, and I've got a few guys that are, that, that are in the clinic, but the vast majority are females because it's figure skating, gymnastics, and, and dance. That's my population, you know okay. what I mean? But, so, but yeah, you know, and I've done this with, with guys and take their bottoms too, you know, and all that stuff too. So it's not just unisexual, okay? So, but anyways, that, that would be the, the coverage, I guess, you know what I mean? So, um, Yeah, so that, that if, if, I'm just trying to think of where else people have seen me, you know, so Brooke has seen, sees me with the uh, athletes at two stars at the gymnastics club, you know, and so, um, 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 so I'm just trying to cover, okay, training room, you know, right. whole high school, two stars, you know, type deal, so, okay, but that's, that I got you. It is what it is. I mean, that's that. I think that that should cover it. I mean, I I, I don't know what you're looking for. You're yeah, not, no, you know, no, that sounds good. And then the only thing that I would ask of you is, you know, I know you've been thinking about this a lot. Yeah. But as you continue to think about it, if there's no details too small, so if there's anything that you remember, and you know, you went through. The only thing, like I said, the only thing that I remember is that there was that. I was hoping to, it's just me, to, okay, how can I, how can, since, how can I get, how can I help? You know what I mean? That's, that was, and that's where I'm thinking is that where I crossed the line was because I had intent of trying to talk to her and how can I mentor her and, you know, what's, you know, from, she's like, what do you want, your career, you know what I mean? It's like, like, how can I be the mom? How can I, you know, like, so that's that's the only thing that I keep thinking of is that was an intent that I had was to as a mentoring, you know. I mean no she she didn't come here for that. You know, I mean she came in for yeah. so I'm like, you know, so but um so I'm like what um I think you had said something about her shoulders burning a long time, that's why I yep. that shoulder. So um what I'm where I may have breached by doing something that was out of, of 
the proportion was I was I purposefully was trying to get into a role of being able to mentor her. Okay, so by talking to her. You know what I mean? Like building that relationship and over three, four visits, you usually can develop a relationship like that where you can where people then like, you know, gee, I want to be a doctor like you and you know, can I rotate with you? Can I you know what I mean? So and and so that's so that's what I'm thinking of is is was was I off on that too much of a tangent, you know, where my focus was off a bit, where I was thinking of that part and wasn't paying attention to the details of explanations? Was I distracted from that? Was, you know, that, I want to be the shiny knight to come in and say, say you know, I helped your daughter. You know what I mean? That's, that's, and, and so did I, so I obviously really flushed that, you know, but that's, that was part of what I was, that was the agenda that you could say that was part of it was not just the body, it's the, 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 the mental component too. So you're thinking, if I'm hearing you correctly, that there may be a possibility that you were having conversation about other things while going through the manipulations of working on her right. body. Right, and that's what that, that, that was, I know that that, exactly, I can't remember, okay, because it's been so long, right? I've seen once, once a week, then I can remember, Right. you know, but I, I remember that as a detail of thinking back you know that was an issue there was so when I see an issue I would have normally tried to mentor on that issue okay so that's again it's nothing I'm not singling her out it's like when I see an issue I want to become a mentor I want to be able to help the person from that standpoint too okay right and so that's just okay so I don't know that's that that would be the, Yeah, and again, you know, sometimes as you're, and I'm sure you've thought about it a lot, but yeah. as you continue to think okay. about it, if there's anything that comes up, don't hesitate to get back in contact with me and let me know. Um, what I will do, though, I will talk with our polygraph examiner tomorrow. Okay. So I'll be able to follow back up with you tomorrow. Okay. Unless right. she's off. I don't think she's off. Right. What well, I have to cook up. So we probably won't do it tomorrow, so you don't worry about okay. that. Okay. Continue on with your plans. Okay. What I will do, I will talk with her tomorrow. If she's not off, I'm pretty sure she's here to see if it's something she thinks that we can do, because okay. I will defer to her expertise okay. um, as far as whether she thinks that we, this is something that we can okay. test on. Okay. Um, and then what we would do is that I would give you a selection of dates and time okay. that she has available, and then you can pick whatever okay. date you want, yeah. right? Which would be good, right? We'll get you in here, get taken mm -hmm. care of. And like I said, she runs those at 9 a.m. or 1 p.m. They're generally a few hours long. Long. The reason for that is, again, from whatever you've seen on TV, that stuff's not true. Um, the test is a very small portion of the polygraph examination. So what mm -hmm. happens is she has to do very much like you have to do. She has to get to know you a little bit before she wins the test. Because you're only tested, obviously, against yourself, right? Okay. Okay. Um, so basically, she has to see um, what your baseline levels are. Like, she will make you lie. Hey, what number do I have up here? You lie to it so she can see how you spike when you lie. Um, and I'm using layman's terms. She will okay. explain it to you in technical terms. Okay. Okay. Um, so basically what happens is, is that she has you lie to something completely unrelated to this. She'll write a number up here and say, did you pick this number? She has you lie to that so that way she says, okay, here's what your charts look like when you lie. Um, she goes through the exact question she's going to ask you so there's no surprises. You know exactly what question she's going to test you on. There's three questions that would be relevant to this investigation. Um, and what those questions would be for, or what I'm hoping she'll be able to test for, is again what we're looking at is medical touching right. for sexual right. assault right. touching, right. Right. right? So she would form like three questions after talking with you because she gets she needs to get to know you and find out, hey, what makes you tick? What do you right. think is right. Right. awful? Right. Um, and then she formulates the test questions from that, and then you okay. go through a couple practice runs to make sure that you're charting okay, or say for example, you know, even if I were to sit in the chair, I'm going to be a little bit nervous, she'll say, are the lights on? Yes. Can you bring your levels back down? But again, she'll go over that all in technical terms and explain it way better than I can. Um, and then she'll run the test that is the small portion of it. She normally has to run a couple tests to make sure that each chart is reflective of the other chart, that she's not getting abnormal readings or anything like that. Um, and then you'll know right then, which you're sitting across from me today, you should know what the answer is mm -hmm. going to be, right? 
um, you should know what the answer is going to be, that, hey, it's shown that he's honest. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm sorry. Right, right, yeah. Right, right, right. So there shouldn't be a question in your mind of right, what right, the right, right, um, right, right. outcome should be. Right, yep. Right, right. And then I'll be available here, too, because obviously it's my investigation. Okay. So we would meet afterwards. Well, okay. basically, when you show up, I'd come get you again. I'd walk you down and introduce you to her. Okay. She runs the test. I'm here throughout the whole thing, though. And then after the test, I would meet with you again. Okay. Um, and again, you know, you're saying, hey, here's what I did. Again, from what right. I'm seeing. Right, 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 right. right. It, you know, it seems like that that's the case. Right, right. Um, and but, then... But it's... Uh, it just frustrates me. That, that, it, 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 like I said, but it affects this, you in a whole other yeah, capacity. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the whole thing. It's like this, it's... Whatever it takes, you know, let's get through it. But it's, I just want to get through it because I got to figure out how to, how to make amends. You know what I mean? It's like, how do you change your life, you know what I mean, so that you don't have this ever happen again? You right. Know what I mean, and I've got to take it out of my hands. You know, and that's where it's, you know, it's going to cost money. And that's just the way it is, you know, and that's just tough, you know, to, but it's worth it to have someone else in the room. And that's, you know, as I keep talking, as we're talking, you know, that's the one thing. That's the one thing that we wouldn't even be here right now, I think, if there was. If that if that person didn't, because that's what you said, is when she, when that person left the room is when she had that change of thought. And that's, if if that other patient would have been late, <laughs> if, you know, they told me, like, if, if, if that patient would have been late, if there was no other patient, you know, then if it was the last patient of the day or whatever, you know what I mean, if, if, if that person would have left the room, we wouldn't be here right now, you know. Right, or we may just have to go talk to that person that would say, yep, hey, right. here's what I saw, right? right. Um, so that's a quick, e that would be quick and easy for us. Right. Exactly. Um, and unfortunately, that's not right. where we're at. Right. Um, and so, you know, because it sounds everything she's concerned about obviously happened after that person left. Right, right, yeah. Like I said, I wouldn't know, you know what I mean? Because I don't remember when the person left or what have you. I'm just, I know that the person would have left, and if you said about three quarters through, so my appointments are long, that makes sense. Because, you know, if the other person that's came into the room, they've been in the room 40 minutes or half an hour or whatever, you know what I mean? That, that, that makes sense, that they would be going to see another patient. Okay. You know, so that, that, that makes sense. You know what I mean? So that, that would make sense. So, okay, so, um, um, I, I, I am, whatever you need done, just let me know, okay? You, you well, I appreciate you coming in here. I didn't expect you to be like, I'm coming right now, so I appreciate oh, that. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, extremely yeah. helpful. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I've, I've, I, it's, the sooner, this has been, in a way, therapeutic for me, too, okay? It's like, I got a chance to purge, you know what I mean? So, thank you, you know, for that. It was nice to be able to, to purge, to, to, to let it out. Okay, so that that helps. Okay, so I do appreciate. Yeah, no, and I appreciate. Like I said, I know a couple of times you're like, "Hey, I'm talking too much." We we want you to talk a lot, okay? Because the more information we have, the more we have to work with. Okay. Um, and so that's helpful. And again, so as you move forward, no details too small. So if you do think of anything, yeah, that's that's gonna be my. That's when you say, every time you say that, I start yeah. going back in my head. Okay, stop saying that. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I, just, I just feel like I'm I'm replaying. But that's know? the way to help yourself. Okay. You know, so okay. that's the. That is the way to help yourself is to remember any detail. And again, I know you see a lot of patients, and I know that we're a few weeks um, out from. Yeah, but I see what I don't want to do is convince myself of some. I don't want to convince myself. Right, that, and I don't want you to do that you either. Know, you, you know, like, oh, yeah, well, I no, remember. No, by no means. Right. You know what I, mean? I don't so want you to do that like, either. You know, I don't want to start re, you know, like distorting the memory in a sense, you know what I mean? So that I, what is she looking for? What are her details? What am I Yeah, no, on? I would not want you to do that at all. And if you don't remember, hey, you don't remember. Right, um, right. I, don't, I don't want it to be used against me because I can't remember, you know, but, I, but it, at the same time, I'm like, I know I talk to my patients. I know I explain things. It, it's irrelevant what I know. It's her perception of what she heard. Now, if I said, even if I remembered saying specifically X, Y, Z, if she heard A, B, C, then does it really matter that I said X, Y, Z? Right, you which is true. Saying? Okay, that's why I'm like... That's true in our profession, too. Yeah, that's why I'm like, okay, she, she didn't get it. She didn't get it, okay? And that's that's the, 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 the issue. She didn't get it, okay? And for however reason, whatever reason, whether I was distracted, you know, I mean, it, it could have just as been as easy as that. I could have been distracted and thought I had explained things. You know right. what I mean? 
So that's what I'm saying. Which is a perfectly like, plausible explanation. That's it. I mean, like, so I don't want to hallucinate and start. Yeah, and I wouldn't want you to do that either. Trying re to reconstruct the, the, the thing, you know what I mean? So, but if something does come to me, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, of course, okay? But that's, it is, it, it, I'm trying hard, okay? So. Okay. Yeah, no, I appreciate you coming in here, especially when okay. I called you up and you came right in, so that's yeah. greatly appreciated. And you obviously got a couple different processes you're dealing with. I mean, your employment process, this right. process university's process, right, so right. it's a lot to have to deal with. Yeah. Well, thank you, though, for your time. Thank you for being you. You were, you were good. You, and just, it, was, it was comfortable to talk to you, you know what I mean? So okay. I appreciate that. Okay. Thanks. So. so as soon as you can, that would be your first piece of homework, send me those videos. videos. Um, yes. Yes. I'm going to leave for the evening after this, yeah, yeah. so if you don't get to it till I'll get to it. Later tonight or sometime tomorrow, that's fine. Anything more important? <laughs> right. Um, so you know, as long as I can have them, you know, by some point tomorrow, that would be great. Okay. Um, and there, there sh should be the other videos that I was trying to find, and the um, the other videos that I was trying to find, and um, the other. I think there was another PowerPoint I was trying to find, you know. So, um, but yeah. So that's that's what. Um, Dr. Covan has a link to the Dropbox, and so does Dr. Dean has okay. a link to the Dropbox, and so does Tom Cooper have a link to the Dropbox. You know, because I'm like, guys, you all know what I do. You know, Tom Cooper, he's he's he, he's more administrative, so that that's why I made it. It was for Tom. You know, I mean, I put the Dropbox together mainly for okay. Tom. Okay, because he's he's like the um, person in charge of the department, like, okay, so um, he had, would have no real clue, you know what I mean? So that's why I wanted to, to put that together and say, okay, Tom, this is what I right. do, because he's not a medical person. He's actually a lawyer that works with, um, uh, he was like our interim department director when Dr. Pochin left, so he became the interim, and now we have another, Dr. Mukherjee is the new department director, so now he's stepped down again as the associate head. But, uh, but Tom's the, the, the person that really oversees our company. Okay. Okay, so um, that's why I put that together, was for his knowledge, because right. he's not medical. Which, so is, and which is exactly why it's helpful for me. Yeah, okay. You know? okay. So, I mean, for you to come in and explain do you want those, to me. Do you want those emails? Um, I won't need the emails. Okay. Um, it's, it's my explanation to, to, to him, to Tom and stuff, you know, if... So did you write, so you wrote an explanation to them of what you did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, would, okay, yeah. so that would be helpful. Yeah, would if be you helpful. have a copy of those, you can just yeah. email those to me. Yeah, yeah, it should have the, it's just it's one email. It's like, here's the Dropbox link and here's Okay, the, yeah, so yeah. that would be helpful then. Okay, yeah, because it should, it should explain it, I think. I don't know, it's a long email, but I'll send it to you. No, that'd okay. be very helpful. Okay, okay. So any, anything, is there any, anything else? No, I don't think so. Just send me those videos, and then I will call you tomorrow to let you know whether we can do the polygraph or not do the polygraph. Would she need to, to see this stuff at all? Do I need to bring this back? No, um, she will have access to my whole written report. Oh, and she'd have access to the draft box for you. Yeah, and then she will go over that report with you in detail to make sure that there's no misunderstandings as to what I may have wrote or what you may have said. Um, so that way she can appropriately, well, just so, yeah, yeah, just so that way she can appropriately run the test, right? Because she doesn't want to, the reason why she goes over the whole report with you is say, for example, I in, I misquoted you or I incorrectly wrote something in the report and she were to test you based off that, we don't want that to happen. So we want to make sure that what I have wrote is what you have said so that way she can test you correctly because she is not involved in my investigation at all. Okay. Her only involvement is to run the test for me. So she will have no part of this investigation in any other way, shape, or form. Okay. It's for her to run technician. the test. Technician. Technician. Yes. Technician. Okay. For her to run that test right. for me and then for her to say, hey, honest or dishonest, right? right. 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 Um, and then we'll go from there. And then, like I said, I've got a couple of people that i got to talk to. Okay. Anyways. Right. And again, hopefully we will have this all wrapped up okay. and good to go by the time we leave on vacation. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you coming in. And you have my contact information, so if yeah. you need anything, again, I'm going to leave here probably in about a half hour. Um, I do get email, though, obviously, to my mobile devices. <laughs> so if there's something that, you know, you think, hey, I got this question or 
whatever concern, yeah. I do get that and I check that even outside of work. So. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming in. Okay.